Hello, everybody. How we all doing this fine day? We're back. Playing Soma, part two, probably the end, since it uh, sounds like we are past the halfway point. Ready to see this journey to the end. And, you know, I will say, I, I don't know if anybody has ever noticed this while playing this game, but have you noticed that the start screen has changed? It's looking a little bit more sinister now. Before it was looking, you know, a little bit strange, but more normal, but now it's looking real sinister. Makes you think, and it is making me think. I, I am thinking about what this might mean. In case you couldn't tell from, uh, you know, basically... <laughs> <laughs> my, you know, the first part of this playthrough, I find this game utterly captivating and riveting. Um, I find it absolutely fascinating. It's such a, it's such an interesting game. It's making me think so much. The fact that we were stuck at so many instances just pondering all of the, <laughs> all of the dimensions of the choices that are presented, all of the bits of story that we've gleaned from the environment, from... Uh, all of the little bits and pieces that you can gather across the, uh, these levels. God, it's such a captivating game. So much so that, let's not delay it, let's just get back into it. There's our recap. Simon has escaped Theta and can finally make his way to Omicron, where he can find a power suit that will stand the pressure of the abyss. Oh man, so we got, we got some depths that we're, uh, descending into, aren't we? Let's go. What was a little bit of story from here? What happened? What did she do? Come on, we gotta get her out of there. Holy shit, Hart blew up the O2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel. She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Ah oh, shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron. Shit, it's bad, real bad. Oh fuck, no! I mentioned it last time, but getting back into the sea feels like a kind of a relief. I feel safer out here than I do inside of the, uh... Oh, is this a minefield here? Alright. Let's find Omicron. <laughs> okay. Well, what are these? Cages of some kind? Hmm. Power failure, okay. Oh, what is this? What's that over there? Hmm. This is Omicron? Hope they saved me a diving suit. Uh, well, I gotta say, uh, looks pretty ominous. strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Fuck's sake. Oh, whoops. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Hey, Press the wrong button. On. Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't yeah, it gets, me, it gets me a little bit nervous that I'm going into a place that's under quarantine, I gotta say. I, I, I don't like the sound of that. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? So I presume this Jones. is Jonesy here. Fuck's sake. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. 
We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Hmm. I'm guessing that whatever's over here will enable me to restore power, but I don't I don't really like that I have to go in there. I got I gotta say, that gets me a little bit uh concerned. Huh, what is this? Some kind of, uh... What is... Is this like a... Hmm, I wonder if it's like some diving pod to get back to the, uh... Get back, uh, topside. But, clearly it's been here for a while. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Uh, nope. So there's pr I presume there's somewhere else where I can... Yeah, that makes sense. Nothing's working. Let's get back out there. There was another path down this way, so I figure that's where we need to go. Well, that's a lot of overgrowth for the WoW. <laughs> oh, that's just a dead end, so... Okay, well, must be something I'm missing. What's this? Make sure to open valves and turn the pump. Ah. Come on, turn. There we go. Excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. This is pod racing, am I right? And what have we got up here? Well, I mean, oh, there's still overgrowth here. Well, let's... Oh, I don't like these sounds. Let's heal up first. Give me that bloop. Yum, yum, yum. Who is this? Next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? <laughs> I was about to say. Good luck. Thanks. What, man, what what is her deal? <laughs> what is her yeah. deal? so okay with all this with what being a talking box for one thing not being human it's not so bad so you're not bothered at all by not having a body i'm getting there you're making me feel really self-conscious come on be serious i never felt that comfortable being human in the first place this isn't mm. much worse not being able to move would freak me out glad you got the box and not me would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body. 
But you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Kind of interesting to me, Catherine, that you never really ever talk about or think about the experiential... Kath. You know what I mean? Why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think you could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? Hmm. The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. Hmm. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Sorry. Catherine, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. I just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different, but the world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's uh, an interesting observation. It is an interesting observation, Simon. It's very interesting. He just asks all the right questions as far as I'm concerned. And about the right time as well. Oh. think I'm okay okay we got a little puzzle here let's uh let's let's try and think a little bit more so I definitely want to turn that on and then I turn that on and that gives me access to so that doesn't do anything so if I turn that on I figure that I need to get all of these lighting up but Oh, or do I need to get the power connected? There we go. There we go. Oh, the terminal just lit up. What's this? Hoover, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. Can do, that's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up! Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do, company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to oh. find black boxes, just like the intercom and theta. Okay, I was I was, I was actually thinking that. Lockdown. Have a look around the room. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Oh my. Um I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Okay. Oh wow, these are going back a lot earlier.
Well, unfortunately, we got no nowhere to go but forward. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. You are, you are quite chill about this. Whereas I'm, uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. The whole, the whole thing just seems a little bit strange. I mean, the whole situation is strange, but this in particular, even in the context of what's been going on so far, feels strange. I'm getting glitches already. Who is this? Who is this? I'm fucking open! And nobody's answering to anything! What kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die? Don't you get it? They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah. You're right. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying! How much higher have you guys got? 20 minutes. Tops. Hey, I'm in red. Seconds away before the CO2 gets me. Strasky. Why wait, right? I'm the master of my own fate. Wait, Stress, what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Is he friendly or no? Definitely glitching. Uh, well, here we go. Use alternate entrance. And where would that be? Where would that be? Oh, this way. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I suppose we should try again, shall we? All right, well. It is doing the glitchy thing, but I wonder if this, uh, this is a friendly robot. Or does he just not care what I'm doing? 
Hmm. I guess not. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I need to do this in order to prompt the alternate entrance, so uh, let's just do it again. Alright, let's try that entrance and let's be a little bit more careful this time. Let's be careful. Let's not run. Oh, what the fuck? This had better be the right way. Hmm. Okay, so it just dropped there for... Are we back? We good? It looks like it uh, disconnected there for a minute. But it looks like we're okay now. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Alright, back to it. Okay, I don't like these... I don't like these floopy sounds, alright? What are these sounds? What is? What is going on? Oh, well that, that can't be it then. Oh, well, this doesn't look like the right way. This way. Oh, just sea sounds. I don't think I don't think you're correct about that. Jeez. Okay. Uh, um. Ha. Okay.
Uh, uh, don't like this. Okay, well that's very new. What is this? Despite all of your reassurances that this is not a horror game, I am not any less, uh, scared. Um... This is a big hallway. Okay. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Uh... Yeah, I thought so. Oh, God. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Uh... Okay. <laughs> A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperature spanning from 50 degrees Celsius to negative 75 degrees Celsius while keeping a steady 40 degrees Celsius default on the inside. Oh, that's pretty warm. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one atmosphere up to a depth of 5,000 meters. Oh, wow. The onboard controller monitors uh, the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock 
hyperven uh, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that uh, locks uh, the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. All right, well, that's that's handy. That's good. The controller is the onboard computer monitor, uh, monitoring the pulse and brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin uh, conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Oh, right, right, hold on, back. Okay, so we're here. We need to get there to get to... Whoops, wrong button. Pod D. I wouldn't call 40 degrees even close to present. Exactly uh, pleasant? Yeah, but maybe it needs to be really warm underwater, you know? I don't know, I'm not a water scientist. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. Uh, what about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just hang around here while I go back out there. Cool. Oh, yeah, just open up the door for me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, none of those will open. What's this? Proper usage of the hazmat suit. Ah, uh, this is the crew. Okay. Ah, oh, man, I really don't want to go back out here. Yeah, no kidding. That is a few things. Cortex chip, gel, and a power pack. Man, everything's locked up. It's weird, it's like, uh, this place is simultaneously, like, more pristine and more run down. That is really interesting, it's like... Except- except for... Except for this. You know what I mean? Like, it looks more... It looks like it's simultaneously more orderly and also not. You know, when- you know, when you- once you start to encounter these growths here. Oh shit! The fuck is that? An unusually sedated orange ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. It kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Shelley, dead on arrival. Claudia Eames. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Luma probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. 
It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Override can't shut up about. Joanne Ross, dead on arrival. Claudia Eames. The dead man found on the climate this morning has been identified as Johan Ross. Or Johan Ross. Um... I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will uh, have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without... Okay, cool. That's where I'm going. Um... I remember that there was a door that we didn't go through down this way. Oh wait, no, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Okay, F3 power room, is that where I'm going? Okay, so that's where I am. Oh, so those doors look like they should be open then, right? Wait, no, hold on, I'm- wait. I think that said stop the wow. I can't go through there. I, I, yeah, like, I'm not sure what to do with that, that little puzzle, so I might just go take a look. Oh, I got- that's all I can do, I think. Uh... Let's head back down there. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I don't know if that's a good thing. Cortex chip.
Oh, I see. Okay, I don't like these sounds, I gotta say. Um, they're a little disconcerting. I'm tempted to start again, that was really confu- Okay, so, that's just clear, that doesn't direct anywhere. Huh, okay. Uh, okay. I think we're getting somewhere, I think I'm starting to figure it out a little bit more, so... These just do nothing. That doesn't do anything, it's- it's about where it, like, connects to... So I need to find a way to... Need to find a way to... Get it to send to all three parts. <laughs> this one's probably gonna take me a while. I'm not fantastic when it comes to these kinds of puzzles. Or actually, what? What is going on? Hmm. Okay. I see. And who- who is this? Okay? Wait, why are you giving me healing? What are these? What, uh... Into the abyss, take it to the alpha in the abyss. Alpha needs medicine. The heart of alpha. Take the gel to alpha. The gel, I presume. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Well, okay then. Stay safe. Get the virus. Omicron, can you hear us? Cloud and Claire. Everyone alright? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tau, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect.
Lumar relay out of range. Okay, I don't, I don't like that one bit. We do one thing at a time, maybe. We need about a bat full of structure gel to tie the body, the cortex chip, and the battery pack together. Go look for structure gel. Okay, so structure gel next up. I see. Okay, so we're not... Oh, uh, maybe it was something I could do on the computer to, like, redo the override. Oh, yeah, because I only did the override for the bottom floor, so I need to do it up for the, uh... Now I need to do it for a different floor. I see. Okay, that follows. Uh, okay. Man, just everywhere you go, you find someone with their head ripped off and means I can't... Which is interesting because it means that, like, the in this place, it's a lot harder to piece together what actually happened. A big vital sort of clue is not here. Which is what, uh... What was recorded. Shrugs a jolt, uh... Okay, at th hmm... At Theta, structure gel test formula, set up split circuit board micro battery, less than ideal, circuit mimicked, check previous results, systemic shock death. Lisa Cameron, the structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Lisa Cameron. 25th of March, I presume, it's American dates. Oh, yeah, of course. What else could it be? The 25th month of the year? It seems like it's not only... Uh, st stop doing that. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it caused the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Uh, applied gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes... The reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel 
had hardened within it. Reanimated another mask with the gel structure. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnetics are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged at a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with aligned uh, graphene or graphene and a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its control of the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never have dreamed of. Study results. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by a cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Okay, well that is a whole bunch of extra information that, uh, damn, I'm not sure what to do with yet. Okay, so this gel can essentially... Hmm. Alright, so... Okay, hopefully this solves our problem. I don't know if it will, but fingers crossed. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I accidentally clicked off the game there. Okay, so we got the gel, so that's two out of three down. Don't do that to me. Uh, I think Ross is trying to tell me something about 
find Alpha. And he wants me to go down to the abyss and find him. <laughs> Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie, I'm not at liberty to... I can't talk about that. Man, none of the computers are working now, are they? I see multiple things that can help me heal. And when I see those things, it gets me nervous. I'm just saying. Oh, so this is the gel applied to... Okay, well this explains some of the things that we've seen then, because this is gel applied to living organisms. But is there nothing that we can do in here? Hmm, maybe not. There were other doors that were unlocked, that's... to be fair, but there are down the scary hallway, so... Well... Wait, no, that's not the way we need to go. It's over this way. Okay, um... Okay! What is... What happened in here? That, uh... Don't look so good. Alright, third floor. Ah, uh, third floor. What's gonna be up here? Heads have been ripped off. I mean, not a surprise. Man, it's just like all of the... Yeah. Whereas, you know, in prior locations we could gleam a lot more information. What's happened in here is a lot more of a mystery. It's just way more of a mystery. We don't really know what's going on, what happened here. Is that oh fuck what is that uh... yet
I fucking hell. Can that tell where I am? Uh. Yes. Oh, I gotta get by it, don't I? Man, that's not working. What do I do? I figured if I threw some stuff, it would distract it, but it's not working. And it's making some real strange sounds. Okay, so that's it activated. Shit. Ugh. Oh, is it going back to where it went? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Shit! Run, 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 run! Go, 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 go! All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh. All right, let's heal up. Ugh. Ugh. Didn't like that one bit. I figured I could look at that computer, but I guess not. Okay, we got everything we need. I don't like that. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit 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 shit. Oh shit. No 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 no. Okay, run 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 run. Oh. 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 off another one of wow's monsters we have everything we need right yeah let's get to work uh i was in too much of a you rush assemble your new body with the things you collected just stuff all of it into the suit of the dead body 
I just wanted to get out of there. This oh, is this is... Th Yo, I was about to say the same thing, dude. This is crazy. So we're actually... The plan here is that we're essentially going to find a way to, like, turn the corpse into... It, like, to turn the corpse into an apparatus that can actually be used by Simon to get... That's... Oh, man. That's some, uh, that's a real body horror stuff, isn't it? Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Jeez. Oh, right, and I mean, that's gonna... Well, that's going to be a little bit scary because it seems like the gel is the main sort of direct interface between a lot of uh, the robotics here and the WoW. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe we're doing this. Horror, no such thing here. Yeah, true. It's not a horror game. Put you in the suit. I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Oh, you need to you launch really the Ark. Yeah. Body. Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. Will it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, son. Oh, Go this is going to be horrifying, isn't it? Room. You might need to boot it up. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, this is going to be bad. by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Ah, uh, it's getting close. There we go. That's everything. Got it. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please. Uh, all right, well, here goes nothing. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> That's what Simon said at the beginning of the game. Why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now uh, you are here just like Simon lived on. I, I, uh, yeah. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know oh. that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Oh! Uh, he... If he's left here, he's screwed. And the choice that Simon just made, that he was planning on making, that he believed was going to be made, was that he was going to get transferred over, not that he was going to get copied. Not that he was going to get copied. Oh, dude. Oh, this gets into that. Oh, this is the, oh, we're getting into that continuity of consciousness kind of thing. It's a bit like Star Trek, isn't it, right? The whole, uh, the whole, um... 
you know like the the what's it called the thing where they they warp right isn't that meant to be a thing where they kind of like it's it's you're like deleting the original and then replacing it with essentially a new copy of him uh, uh, oh oh dude leaving him here though oh, 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 oh. yet all right, let's try and now that we've gone past what's actually happened, which I was a little bit worried was what was going to happen. Now it's time to actually really think about this. At this point, this Simon that we are playing as now is is a different Simon. He is different to this Simon. He is a continuation of if we go human Simon and then this is Simon one and now we're Simon two. Simon two is a direct continuation of the intentions of Simon one. I think it's safe to say that even though Simon 2 is not Simon 1 anymore, that they are different people, that Simon 2's reaction absolutely mirrors Simon 1, which is, oh, this is not what I intended. But now that we're in this situation, now what do we do? Do we just leave the original Simon 1 here? We just leave him here to deal with this situation, left alone, no guide. Dude, he'd have no means of inter- no, he'd be trapped. He would be trapped in this station. No, he, he would be trapped in this station. He can't actually get out because he doesn't have the equipment anymore. We're taking Catherine with us. We, he can't escape. He'll just be stuck here and will presumably be like folded into the WoW, which I still don't know what I think about it. I... Uh... Or is it, but the question is, if we leave him here, does he have the, like when he wakes up, what's he going to do? What can he do? What, what choices can he make? Is it, oh, do we, I mean, do we leave him the choice essentially to decide what he wants to do? But what is that? Oh, I don't. I oh. He can't get out. So what can he do? What can he do? Once we take Catherine out, that's it. He can't get out. And what's he going to do? Get killed by that monster over there? Or potentially get... He can't get out. He can't get out. Oh, he can't get out. He's trapped. Oh, and it seems like whatever's going to await him here is probably, probably, oh. Oh, just imagine the, oh. But again, is that my choice to make or is that his choice to make? And what does it even mean? He'll have to like gradually what? Piece together exactly what happened. Like he doesn't actually... I mean, he'll, I guess he'll figure it out pretty quickly. Is, that, is, it, is, it, is it my choice to make here? But then why did I make the choice with, uh... I made the... But then at the same time... He... If... if it's like, leave him alive to understand what's happened be absolutely horrified by it and the prospect of what's going to happen to him. Just leave him there absolutely horrified by it all and then... Well, I guess he's in a position to make some choices. Th there's no getting around it. Even though Simon 2 is a copy of Simon 1, like, my, my situation is different and that's informing my choices. I can leave. I'm the one who's going to leave. I'm the one who gets to continue on. 
So like the choices that I make are different from the choices that he makes. At the end of the day, even though I was only created like just a second ago, and I'm, I'm like basically as direct a continuation of this Simon as there could be at the same time, we still are in different circumstances. I get to leave, which is informing my choices. I have the complete information. He's going to be stuck here for a day and then wake up and then find out that he's been abandoned. With just no means of... He's got no means of doing anything. That's the thing that I... The thing is, is I don't fully understand the WoW. I don't fully get what the WoW is actually doing to people. There's a lot of mixed... The, the, like, I, I don't know what the WoW does. And all I've seen is that the WoW looks bad. But then again, I don't know, because there's that. there was that first robot that we encountered who said that she was happy. I... And then, if you again, if you want to get real into just thinking about this as a topic, if I am a direct continuation of this Simon, and this Simon doesn't wake up when he gets duplicated, what exactly is the distinction that we're drawing in terms of the continuity of consciousness? I guess the problem is that this one's complicated because I have the choice here. It's not like the automatic process of what happens is that he gets deleted and then I get created and I could just presume, I could comfortably presume that this is a continuity of consciousness. Here I have the knowledge that this is absolutely not true, that there is a Simon 1 here, that there is this Simon 1 here who exists as a co and that I'm the copy. I didn't think that they could keep ramping up the decisions like this. Oh, in terms of just like health. Neither of these are good choices. Again, it's 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 similar to what was happening with Brandon, right? Is that we can eliminate the possibility of bad but also eliminate the possibility of good, even if it's incredibly slim. Or we can leave him in the realm of possibility where most of the possibilities are negative. I, I just, I don't know. It seems like the outcome, the outcome is entirely negative. But at the same time, the overarching thing that looms over this is, is this my choice to make? I guess the problem is I have the capacity to make a choice here. Can he make the same choice? Can he make the same choice to essentially erase himself? Can he do that? If we pull this out, like, doesn't that just eliminate all of the systems? Isn't all of this running and operating because Catherine's connected? Like, if we disconnect him, he's just stuck here. What are his options? What can he actually do? Other than wait here, realizing that he's been betrayed and left behind, and then get absorbed by the WoW, which as far as we know, like, it's really difficult to ascertain whether or not that's good or bad. There are no good choices here.
He got us all this way, man. Ah, oh, that's ah, uh, just he got he got us all this way. He got us all this way. Dude, this game, this game, man. Uh, Catherine. I don't trust her at all at this point. I really, 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 really don't trust her. I don't know what her game is. I don't know what she's playing at. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clamor, please. Sure thing. Simon, I killed at Omicron. What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? Yeah, she got nothing, right does she? And I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes uh, up in the right place for speaking. Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right sign. Prestige. Christ. Prestige. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. 
We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Uh, Catherine? Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? Probably, uh, uh what is this? It should hold. Comforting. It will oh, hold. what are these? What is, oh, bioluminescent critters in the depths. Also, all of that conversation was like utterly captivating um, and fascinating and really, really interesting. continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep my experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure sounds kind of like a movie being edited live i suppose so i guess it sounds exciting but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion it's rough could be worse could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo that'd be the worst Man, it's getting real, uh, getting real low. Uh, oh, uh, uh, you did it. You did it. Uh, Oh, yeah, freaks you out, yeah? I see a whole bunch of what looks like wow growths all over the place. All over the place. 
Jeez. Yeah, so all the way until about the end of 2103 is where all the logs sort of end up at. What the hell is that? at the bottom of the ocean here. Man, what is all this? I gotta tell you, the relative calm that I felt uh, when we were exploring the ocean up top is uh, gone now. <laughs> this is very uneasy. I mean, yeah, we're in the uh, we're in the midnight zone, right, of the ocean, where there is no light. No lights down here has ever been here except for this. Strong currents, maybe that's it. Right, and that's the walk, the long walk to Tau. Yeah, the deep ocean isn't as calming. Well, I mean, w what we were was, you know, relatively deep, but this is real deep. This is super duper deep. Oh, wait, am I going backwards? Tao? Come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Nothing. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, that's the climber station. Back this way. Yeah, I've been in there. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamplights, they won't go near them. I can't foul Glasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Ross. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die. So what happened, man? Ross, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass, we lost the path. We need to go back. I know where to go. Come on. It's over there. The light is over there. Final push, Ross. Almost there. We just. Oh, oh shit. Well, yeah, that that uh that would explain all that. Huh, nice. Not ominous in the least. Well, it's gotten real quiet now. Ah, oh, shit. What the fuck?
Uh, this is the current that was getting talked about. Have we got deep sea monsters infected by the Tau? Ah, uh, the, not the Tau, the WoW. Have we? Inventory. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that. Mission logs. Observation. Lure. Dried squid. One kilogram. Sixty pieces of anema. A marlin. Ah. <laughs> yeah, these fellas. Don't like them. The creatures disfigured by the gel, a mannequin will attack anything. Still hard to determine how WoW has affected their behavior or beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with light. The creatures seem to hunt something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. Affected by the leaking structure gel. Ugh. to make of this that the wow is like re oh okay so there was something talked about in terms of the wow is the wow reanimating things bringing things back to life but evidently not as they were before is this kind of like not like gray goo exactly but kind of adjacent to it of um it's like you've got this machine that is attempting to recreate life, but the way that that recreation manifests is can, I don't know, it's just, this here seems real consistent with the comet, and this here, I don't know, it seems more like, so there were no humpback whales, and then it collapsed, and then it went all the way back up. And then same here, giant squid, population collapses, then goes back up. So we got no, Nothing on the anglerfish. <laughs> I know, it's just making me wonder. Can't do anything with that. Can't go down there. Cool, no light, no clear path forward. Other than those lights over there. What the fuck?
I'm going to go ahead and presume that we should use these for cover, but now it looks like we just got to run. Uh, don't like this. Don't want to even look and see what that is. Let's just keep moving. Go, 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 go. And what are these structures here? God, what is going on here? Ugh. Stick to the lights and the critters should leave Tell, you alone. Keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Okay, we got power. That's a good sign. Just pause for a second here. I'll be right back in a minute. I'm just going to grab some water. All right, back. Don't want to leave for too long. We still got, we gotta, we gotta see this journey to the end. Okay, so we got power. I guess I might as well heal. Okay, so we got power, which I presume is lighting some apparatus outside. Cool. Unable to retrieve data. Okay, so, uh... Hmm, what the... Why didn't you press towel? I thought I did. Oh, there we go. Okay. I thought I did press it. Okay, so we gotta stick... We gotta stick as close to this fella as possible then. Okay, you're heading over this way. Slow down. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit, shit, shit. Shit. Okay, so I need to keep in mind. Fuck me! What the? Shit. Okay, okay. Oh, a little underwater spiders. You guys are relatively chill compared to what I've been encountering out here. Shit, which way am I going? Now I'm a little bit, I'm wondering if I just came back. I, I think I might have just gone back the way I came. Yeah, I think so. Wait, did I? No, this looks different. Hold on, now I'm not so sure. I did see some lights out there, but there were lights guiding me in. And the wind is blowing in the opposite direct- now- ah, uh, shit. Damn it. What were those lights over there, though? You live in this cave now. I don't think I like that. I, I just, I can't imagine. I'm walking against the... I'm walking against the current. I think I was walking with the current. So I think this has got to be the way to go, then. But it, I, it seems like I should be following these green lights here. Because it seemed like before that the other, uh... One of the other paths led somewhere that I don't- I don't think I want to go. No, this- now- okay, now I'm really... No, this is how I- okay. No, this is definitely the way that I came in. Yeah, 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 okay. No, I was going the right way. This is definitely- this is definitely the right way then. So I do need to venture out there. Yeah, th okay, 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 I see. Yeah, okay, and then we went, we went this way. And then we go this way. And that takes us out. Yeah, that looks about right. It seemed like the other way was leading to... There are lights over here. I guess I just got to make a run for it. Follow this cable. I don't like it out here.
What the hell was that? Oh, sh oh yeah! What the fuck? Oh. Oh. What is this? Uh, this has got to be it then. This music is oddly serene and soothing, isn't it? All things considered. Oh. Oh, that's a little bit soothing. Unexpectedly. Oh. Oh. Got your breath here. Before... <laughs> Before venturing into God, who knows? Who knows what we're in for in here? Never been happier to be inside. Let's find the ark. Welcome to town. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. I haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead now. Oh, you're they all got some stuck. Yeah. Story circulating at oh, that's going to be oh, a lot God. of new info about Listen, here. Son, we're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. Because this whole place is basically... We, we, we really, throughout all of our adventure here so far, we've had no information on what actually has been happening down here. This has been, like you said, no communication presumption that, you know, nobody's here. Or, you know, that everything's gone wrong and no rescue or anything. Yeah. What's going on in here? Okay, so that's where we are. Okay, not too labyrinthian. How long is this going to take? Shit, he's coming for me. Fuck. Oh, 
I wasn't sure if that was an illusion again. Fuck, man, it's so dark. I can barely see shit. God, how the hell am I going to get by him? I can't see shit. Oh, shit, there he is. Okay, we're going to have to try and wait for him to pass again and see if we can get by him. Yeah, he's headed the other way. Oh. How am I gonna get by him? That was probably my opportunity. Shit. Let's be patient. Shit. Oh, shit. Crap, he knows I'm in here. Fuck. Oh, it's that other door. I should have pressed the other door. Uh, I should have pressed the button on the other door to open it up, get it started. Get. Uh, that's what I should have done. that's probably where I need to go. Alright, hide, 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 hide. Hide, quick! I'm not in here. You don't know where I am. Get lost. It's getting real glitchy. It's getting real fucking floopy, isn't it? me
Did he see me? Fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, cool. We're fucked. Shit. Oh. Oh. Shit. Fuck! Go, 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 go! Get the fuck out! Get out, get out, get out! Go, 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 go! Oh. Thank God for that. Jeez. Give me some juice to heal with. Thank you. Oh. So, what's going on, Ross? I mean, yeah, not not a surprise. There's nobody around. I presume I'm gonna need the codes to the infirmary and cabin A. I know that the infirmary is locked. Okay. What the fuck did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life, I've been a good man. Messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Well, that's haunting. Just, uh...
promise you won't leave it behind. Well, I'll be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wild to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Jesus, what the hell is this? Fucking hell. We got full blown like cocoons here. I guess we got. Well, yeah, we can't get in here, so we gotta go to the dive room then, by the looks of things. And then come back here. What? I, <laughs> I don't know what to make of all that. I, I really don't know what to make of, of that. All right, so we need to put something on there then. We need cargo. And where are we going to find it? Okay, so we need to get something and put it on there, send it back down here. Okay, that, that follows, more or less. Wait, I- oh, I figured... I'm just trying to figure out, uh... Spacing and where that would have been put. Uh... Hmm. Alright, what am I doing here? Where would I have sent it? Oh. Fuck me! Oh, don't do that shit. Alright, what? Dare I go into Ross's room? 
Oh, wow. Okay, all things considered, it's uh, not so bad. Journal. Okay, so September 13th. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kovsky, and Koetsi and I survived. Uh, uh, Orkle is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Uh, the 19th of November. Kurtzi made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. Christmas. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly, but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this quote-unquote afterlife. Boxing Day. Some of the engineers returned from fire. Apparently they postponed the arc launch. They were all in a very foul mood and, diffi uh, and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure this arc business out but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding hmm. expectations. Hmm. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. Okay. Wild growth. The wow has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what Wow could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of Wow has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. Termination. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Okay. So it's all starting to make a bit more sense. And what are all these here? What are these illustrations that we keep seeing? Is that... I wonder if that's like the WoW, the core of the WoW. We saw that. We saw an illustration of that back in Omicron, right? Right up to the infirmary. Who is there? Oh, you're, you're different. Uh, um, 
used to have one just like it. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall, payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. Uh. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And uh, I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. <laughs> Good one. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? None of this feels right. Simon. I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Knock it out of the park. Be careful. Don't let me down. Knock it out of the park. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. Please don't leave me like this. If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. Uh. Careful. Is there any more information in here? Let's take a look around. Be my guest. I got no secrets worth keeping.
Okay, what do we have here? A manual on how to keep unconscious or comatose colleagues fed through an intravenous drip. Methods on... Uh... What the... Day 312. <laughs> this has been here for nearly a year. So she's been here for nearly a year, has she? Just sitting here connected to all of this equipment. Unable to move nobody around. Jesus. The last person left. With absolutely no idea as to what... Like, what's... Guarding the Ark. She asked Simon to do it. She asked him to do it. She doesn't... into Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanak is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Cap. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there, to the stars. The black box is inactive. I probably found a way to switch it off. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the Ark like this. This room, this singular room, represents the end of humanity. A woman hooked up to a machine as the entire facility, with all of this, like, m 
synthetic material oozing in, seeping in, along with the atmosphere, the very environment, like everything surrounding it just pressing down on this entire facility, that this is the end of humanity. It's crazy to think about where this story began and all that we could gleam about the story from where we began to where we're at now with all of these developments and information just being added on top. And now what? This is us now just following the art through this... Just this little tunnel... That's all of humanity. That's all that's that, that's that's the possibility of humanity in some way, shape, or form continuing in just that little object there. Shit. Okay. Oh shit. Okay.
where am I going here? I figure I need to go this way. It didn't look like there was anywhere else to go back the way I came, so it must be this way. Oh, is this a uh, pathway over here? Alright, here we go. Where are we going here? Oh, I don't like this. Don't like this at all. Where are we going? What happened here? Just tell me what you want. saying this toxin inside of me can kill the WoW all together? You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. Alright, this is it. What the hell is that? Heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint. And the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. Oh shit. Please, 
I did what you wanted. Dead good, Simon. But you can't leave. The only way to make sure the WoW stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry. I'll make it quick. Oh, God! Okay, let's get out of here if we can. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, okay. Run, 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 run. Okay. Oh, shit. It's getting louder. I'm wondering if I can even hide in here. Okay, it's getting better. Okay, back to the light. Oh shit, he can see me there, can't he? Yeah. Shit. Okay, we can hide here, right? Shit. Run, 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 get going quickly. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. The Ark made it here in one piece. 
Um, so, out of curiosity, was there a choice back there in terms of, like, sticking your hand in that? Or now I'm guessing that the choice might have been to leave. Which now I'm, now I'm starting to wonder <laughs> what that means. Yes. Okay. Hmm, I didn't, I didn't know that there was. <laughs> um, hmm, now I'm just kind of, like, wondering what that means. Because now, here, here's my little concern. Now my concern is something to do with, uh... Now, well, so now my concern is, I'm, I'm just wondering if, uh... If it's something to do with, like, getting infected or something. Um... If, uh... Now I'm not... I don't know. I guess I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't fully grasp... Though I guess I probably should have, based on the way that the game has operated so far. I wasn't too sure. But I mean, it makes sense that that was a... That was a choice. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have both my arms in the arc, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Okay, so I presume that's where we need to go then. A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Hmm. What do we have here? Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to town. Why didn't they go through with the launch? Okay with the space gun. Hmm. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Right, so you can't climb so well. Feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. Hmm. I presume I'll need this. What does this do now, though? Uh, hmm. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Okay, so it's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. 
might change my mind about the Ark. You sure is not going to tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? To stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to it. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's probably worthwhile in the, uh... The all right, well, What's hold the first on. Thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. Well, what's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. Um, what I was gonna say is now I'm just, I guess I'm just thinking. So basically the choice there was presented. I think part of me was wondering if it was all some trick. I wasn't too sure. I, <laughs> I didn't know whether, I, I'm still not sure if it was all a trick or not. Um, so it's a choice between you destroy the WoW, which means you destroy all of the, basically all of the robotics and everything that's down here. Um... Hmm, wait a minute, what's this? Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to huh. risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Hmm. Say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the arc. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Shit. Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you? Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. Uh. Hmm, okay. So, the scientist has raised some interesting points, which is that there is some amount of risk of shooting it into the stars, but I guess at the same time it seems like a, uh, what does it seem like? Maybe like a slim chance of, I, hmm. Okay, well we can't do anything by the looks of it right now. I think I need to reconnect the thing and then I'm, I'm presuming that I'm going to get the choice How then of uh, you got into a fight launching it colleagues. into space. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we gotta chuck it in here then. How did um, they kill me? Catherine. Hmm. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think that's the one I originally got it from. Hmm. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. Okay. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. 
If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Hmm. Okay, so. That's our choice then, I'm guessing. Keep it here. A certainty, but a lot less time versus a possibility up there. Okay, so so that we don't have a repeat then of uh, moving very quickly past uh, something that I, didn't, I don't think I quite recognized was a choice. Um, if I press this button, is that it? Or is it going to like give me a choice here? This one isn't really a choice, but I imagine you're paranoid about missing them now. Yeah, a little bit, because, I mean, there was a lot to talk about there with the WoW. <laughs> I didn't... I wasn't quite sure. Um, there's a lot to talk about there, because, yeah, now that the WoW's been destroyed, or is gonna be destroyed, presumably that means the end of, of everything that was connected to it, and there were a lot of things connected to it. Um, I guess it might be worthwhile, while we're here, to sort of run through, in retrospect my thought process that would be informing that. I think the big problem that I have is that I just do not understand what the WoW actually is or does. I have no clue what the perceived experience is of any of the people who are connected to it or the robots that are connected to it. Really, all I have to go on is what I can guess, and the problem is that the information is incredibly inconsistent. Um, and I imagine it's inconsistent by design to make it really difficult to ascertain what's happening. It seems like some people who were connected to it were really happy about it. Meanwhile, other people were a lot more, um, I guess, cognizant of the situation that they were in. Um, it's, uh, I guess, that if that flash, you know, of that vision that we got while we were connected to it was meant to be essentially the experience of being in it, then it seems like... Didn't one of them assume they were on the Ark? Yeah, but that was like... That was her connected to... It seemed like she was gradually gonna start to realize what was actually happening. It's more so we had that first robot that we encountered all the way at the beginning of the game that said it was happy. And then we encountered, I believe it was Amy, who said that she wanted to stay connected to it. Um, and we've seen different robots connected to it with different perceptions of what's going on. Believing themselves to be the original human. Knowing that... Like, believing themselves to be on the Ark. Um, obviously we've had all of the monsters that we've encountered in the game so far, which I have no clue what to make of them as manifestations of the WoW. Um, I think the problem is I have no, I have no idea what it is. Really, I don't. I could present a bunch of ideas of what I think it is, but I have no idea. Other than, I guess, that brief moment connected to it. And I don't know. I guess the problem is that from the outside in, it looks pretty horrific. From the outside in, it looks terrifying, but maybe from the inside, it seems like it's just a... I don't know, maybe from the inside, it's like some kind of, like, pleasant experience. Kind of almost indistinguishable from what this is that we've created here. But then again, it's just like the manifestations of it have been really... bizarre and, uh, pretty horrifying. Um... I, uh... Hmm... I don't know, that one feels like a particularly difficult choice because it feels like I'm making a choice with such a limited amount of information. Which, uh, I guess makes it different, um... Which I guess makes it different from... Uh... Hmm. Okay. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Okay. Oh, stairs over here. Hmm. 
The point I'm making is I'm actually not sure what choice I'd be making there with the, uh... With the WoW. I'm actually... I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we need, uh... Now what? Now we just need to get the shell onto the gun and then... Kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you going to get us on board the Ark? Mm. Do we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean... It's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to make of all that. Uh, hmm. I don't know, now I'm thinking about that conversation that- Now I'm wondering if like- Hmm, now I'm really starting to wondering. What I am wondering now is if Catherine has gotten us to do all of this, knowing that there was absolutely no way to, uh, to get us onto the Ark. Since she seemed really, really, at least original human Catherine seemed particularly determined to do that. I'm wondering if now we've done all this and there's like no chance. What's over this way? Oh, nothing here. Oh, I guess that's the, uh... That'll be the cannon there. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get her hooked up then. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Okay, so as you can tell, I am now paranoid, basically. <laughs> I presume that, uh... Getting in... I don't know. But, I mean, this seems like it's just gonna be a repeat, then. That, like, this guy is gonna be left behind if there's a scan onto the, uh... If we get scanned onto the... Hmm, okay. As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, uh, geez. Got it. There we go. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and- I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe her. I don't- I don't believe her. No, I think she's bullshitting me. 
Oh, she's lying to me. She's lying. Well, push the button when you're done. You okay? Yeah. It's just crazy thinking about what we're doing. Ditching Earth. Boggles your mind, doesn't it? Yeah, no, this no, we're getting left behind. That's what's happening here. Come on, Simon, let's get going. Push the button. Deep breaths, Captain. Soon we'll be among the stars. Let's hope so. I got no other option here at this point now, do I? That's it. Yeah, no more dialogue options, no nothing. That's it. Okay. Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Sam. Don't mention. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Wait, what's going on here? Twenty seconds. Oh no way! What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. What's going on? Oh, I'm getting left behind. Come on, Simon, let's get going. Push the button. Push the button. Oh no way! Six. No way! Four. It's the same as last time. Oh. Uh, yeah, of course. We're here. No. We were getting on the ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before Same as last time. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how Yeah, it works. I thought so. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omar Khan, just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. Uh, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks, but our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine. You lied. And I believed in you. I trusted you. You said we're getting on the fucking Ark. We are on the Ark, you idiot. I didn't lie. I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance. You fucking Ark! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine?
Um. Whoa. Is this? Did it work? Um. Welcome. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. do I feel about all of these questions after completing the game? The problem now is that you know, you know this isn't real. It, it's really interesting. All of what was there before, you know, everything that happened there could have not been real. It could have all been, you know, part of its imagination, but it just doesn't seem like that's the case. Whereas this, in terms of a prospect of the Ark, I don't know, something feels off. Something, something about this place feels off. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm not sure. Now I'm not convinced. <laughs> now, now I don't. Now I don't know. I, now I'm not convinced. How would you describe your mental condition? What do I think? Um, I don't know. Now I don't know. Now I really don't know. <laughs> now, now I don't know. I think that's where I'm at. Hmm. I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked as in my senses are numb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. For some reason, that's kind of... I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, because, like, now here on the Ark, there's, I don't know, it's just something about it as, like, uh... I'm not sure. <laughs> just... 
How would you describe the sensation of your... Hmm. So it's pleasant. It's like, I guess there is an aspect of pleasantness, but at the same time, I feel way more towards two, three, and four. This feels way more... It's kind of awkward, right? Is that um, even though, for all we know, everything that was happening before in terms of Simon's adventures through these facilities, it could have all just been fake. But the fact that it was so unpleasant, the fact that it was so raw and visceral and terrifying, like, makes it come across as a more real thing. This feels weird. <laughs> like, at this point, having done all of that and gone through all of those experiences to end up at this place, it's almost like the, the sense of relief is not quite there. Something feels off. The awareness of what exactly this is, is the difficult part. If you don't know what the experience is that you're having from the outside in, but you know that you've been put on the arc and you know that it's not real, there's almost something about that that comes across as odd. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> the gut feeling I have in terms of me right now playing the game and exploring this area is that I don't feel that it's pleasant. It feels like something is wrong. <laughs> that's, 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 I think that's where I'm at right now. Something is wrong. Are you troubled by the fact that you know... So this is the interesting thing. Having played through the game and seen the fate that has befallen the previous Simons, I absolutely mourn the previous existence. Definitely mourn the previous existence. Like, that's... Because especially with the, the knowledge that the previous existence exists and continues and goes on and potentially meets a fate that's not so pleasant as being uploaded into the Ark. Hmm... I can't remember what I said before. I'm not sure if I, uh... I don't think I said this. But I don't know. Now, with a sort of awareness of, uh... Of, of those perspectives, to some extent, I, uh... I don't know, I feel like I do actually mourn that previous existence. It's a direct... How do you perceive your new existence? It's a direct continuation of my previous self. Two, it's like a new chapter in my life. So I think last time around, I said it was... I, I said that two and three just aren't true. Um, it is a continuation. It is a continuation. Um... I don't know. It, it, it's a direct continuation, but at the same time, it's not. But it doesn't have nothing to do with the previous self, it does. So I guess, in terms of like the way that it's, it's, it feels like at this point, in terms of where he's at now on the arc, that it's more like two. I don't feel like it's three, I feel like the, the most, the most accurate answer would be two. I, I still definitely feel like the answer to this one is three. Uh, or I think I think before I said it's as as much as my previous life. I don't know if I I don't know how I feel about that as an answer given the context of this of the awareness that this is like an artificial world compared to before where it felt like it was in the real world. I think that in this situation on the arc you would absolutely need to search for some new sense of meaning. I don't know what it means to latch on to the previous sense of meaning in a world that's so different. I certainly don't think it has less meaning. I don't think it's that simple. Uh, I don't know how detached from the reality it really is. So I'm feeling three on this one. And my answer has not changed on this one. I am still on it. Maybe I need to think about it. I don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea. I'm still on maybe on this one. Even having, you know, now gone through the rest of the game, I'm still on maybe. 
would you rather be removed from this project and accept death? I don't know if my answer to that would be no or yes. I really don't know. I don't even know if I could ever know on this one. I have no idea. I need to think about it. Okay. Hmm, what is that? A building? Over there? What is that? Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. You know what? Well, if you want to jump on and have a chat about the game, be my guest. Hello. Hey. You finished it up. Mm-hmm. Ten hours, ten hours in total about, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you think? Oh, I'm going to be thinking about this game for a while. I'm going to be thinking about this game for a while, I can tell that. I don't even know where to begin. In terms of unpacking my thoughts on this whole game. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, so already upon completing it instantly, this game is way, 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 way high up 
on like my list of favorite stories in video games. Well, at least now you know why Beard Rags put it incredibly highly. I uh I don't I don't know that I could ask for the game to do any more reasonably in terms of exploring all of the concepts that are uh the, the all of the concepts that it's attempting to delve into related to consciousness being uh artificial intelligence continuity you know continuity of consciousness robotics um what it, what it, what exactly like life is where we derive the value from the the notion of like whether the, the, the like how much the value of life is derived from the perception of it being real and moreover like what does that even matter like it, the notion of it being real or the perception of it being real and what exactly does that even mean to the perceiver um i i, I yeah like I, I felt like there was uh yeah like no stone stone left unturned in terms of exploring these concepts and like the way that, and 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 this is all on top of the fact that i think that like the central plot as presented here with these characters going through it and the mystery that unravels as you traverse through all of these different parts of the base uh gradually piecing together what's going on um the, like all of that is presented in a really interesting way obviously from a gameplay perspective it's pretty straightforward pretty like you know minimalistic i suppose you could say it's not like it's a particularly mechanically complex game but I certainly don't feel like uh, the game as presented and all of the mechanics get in the way of the story. It feels like it's totally like in sync and in service of the story. Yeah, it's another one of those that answers hypothetical because if someone said, which they have, Soma shouldn't have been a game, it should have just been a movie. It's like, no, no it, needs it needs to be a game. It's got to be a game. The choices is such a huge yeah, you, part of the it experience. To, it's part of the. Uh, sort of how the argument how it convinces you you get immersed in being simon exactly and if he is being viewed by a camera the whole time as opposed to you being him uh, it's much easier to disconnect him from humanity yeah i think so and it especially you, I mean, look at the way he looks right like, exactly the first person perspective even when you've got like the robot hands you can't really see exactly what you are and particularly at the end you can't quite see exactly what you are even though that part by that stage it's particularly horrific um, it's particularly horrific what exactly he is. And I don't think you get, because having the, obviously, you know, as a setup essentially for what happened there at the end of the, what was already something that you should have been able to essentially ascertain by that point is that there, there doesn't seem to be such a thing as like a transfer, like what, <laughs> we're doing the prestige. Well, the prestige, as the you prestige. pointed out, yes. <laughs> Technically speaking, there is a transfer, but sure, it, but because transfer, this, this obvious why they chose that word. It's very uh, you can mean a couple things. Exactly, it's it's all down to perspectives because so much of it boils down to, and so much so much of like the ethical quandaries essentially boil down to. Well, like, what do you make of it? What do you think? <laughs> like, what do you think? What do you think the situation? What do you think you're being asked to do here? What do you what do you think you're being asked to decide on? Um, and there's, like, so much to go through, and, I, I, like, when it comes to thinking about, oh, just, like, each of those choices, because I'm sitting here, it's like, hmm, would I, would I, would I destroy the WoW? Would I do that? I don't, I don't feel like I fully oh. understand that choice, you know? I don't, I don't even know what I'm choosing between well, there. yeah, it's not a huge loss that you didn't make an informed choice, so to speak, of the games. You can still just think about it now, but, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about it got now, to that yeah. point uh i had a different point of view to you i felt like i the whole game was showing me exactly what it means for the wow to proliferate like to to do what it intends to do and I, as far as i'm concerned it's horrifying but what i find incredibly interesting and i believe is part of the point the game is making is that i want to stop the wow to stop all of the suffering even though there's plenty of instances of happiness there's plenty of instances of functionality there's plenty of creatures here that don't necessarily, if they have the choice, want to die. Mm -hmm. You are one of them. You don't want to die in this game at any point, really. Um, Simon is very much, he's got a huge amount of self-interest, naturally, because he's, uh, you know, a copy of a human being. He's just like, yeah, yeah, I want to live. I want to I want to make things better for myself. But the, you know, time could come where he would want to kill himself, as well as circumstances, if he was to be crippled and stuck in, like, a, you know, cocoon, which you almost were, and that's one of the most interesting parts of the game, is that you meet up with your, uh, you essentially have your dream 
coming yeah. through, and then you're knocked out of it. And so the implication is that the WoW not that's only what the WoW presents to you. and gives life, yeah, that it tries to get them in, in you know, a sense of everything being strong and great. And there's a couple of quotes about the shambling sort of machine monster creatures. We don't know what they're seeing. For, it's for it's the thing know. that makes it really difficult is that all we can see is from the outside in and we can try to figure out what they're experiencing based on the things that they're saying. And there's kind of like yeah. conflicting information because as I, you know, some of the robots expressed that they were happy. They didn't want, you know, that, that they were happy with the situation, even though the situation just seemed to be them in a static near catatonic state. But the problem is that what we're perceiving from the outside Who's to say what it is from the inside? And what exactly is there for you but your subjective experience of reality? If, as far as you're concerned, you're leading your life and everything is pretty normal and you have no idea that you're hooked up yeah, to like, basically this like gray goo thing that's constantly expanding and trying to keep things alive that in the real world is horrifying but you're completely oblivious to. What does that mean to you? I mean, there's so many concepts running at once because you can picture like that creature well any of them that were chasing you what they could be seeing is they're in a beautiful forest just you know running after a rabbit and just yeah exactly I, th I think what mainly be... what really put that in my mind was the fact that simon initially thought he was a person in the facility yeah. he thought he was a person and then eventually he realized oh shit i'm i'm not i'm a i'm a robot um and if that's something that he perceived that could absolutely be the same and we, we saw it right with uh with uh carl like really early on where he's talking about how he thought he was a human. Like, yeah, see, here's my arms and everything like that. It's just, to him, everything seems normal. But, it, it, I, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I, I guess you would presume that the longer that the, the WoW goes on, the more that it can sort of refine its process and create, essentially, this it situation. It's that wonderful... There's so many amazing quotes in this game. One of the ones I love is from Johan Ross, where he says, we cannot rely on a machine to know what it's like to be human. That's the one we that really makes me it think. To, know, to define, to, to make sure the experience is the way it's supposed to be, when it's like, I'm listening to it, my character right now, who is a machine. Exactly. It's, and, what, and what is the nature of all of the beings that have been amalgamated into this thing to agree to be a part of this? to agree to be a part of the WoW and to essentially lead lives that are entirely dependent on what the WoW perceives life to be. And who's to say that what the perception of the WoW is doesn't change into something that's horrifying later on. So this is the this is the thing. I, I find the destroy the WoW choice to be one of the most complex because I usually land on, I'm going to end the suffering. But the thing is, if an all-powerful, very well-knowledgeable alien came to Earth and had a choice to just blow us up, and it was looking around, and it'd be like, yeah, I've spotted some that are just in constant pain, some that, like, just bought birth to die, some that are just, like, kept on machines until they die, people who want to die but can't because their, their systems don't allow it, people who are getting murdered and killed, there's wars happening constantly. Yes, there are people who are happy, but that's usually in, like, stark opposition to their circumstances. Like, they, they, they make it that way. It's not a neutral position, happiness in this world. It's mainly a planet of suffering. And so it's worthwhile putting a stop to it. Like I can see an alien deciding that or a greater being of power. And then I start to wonder, it's like, wait, am I doing that with the wow? Am I just deciding like, uh, there's too much suffering here for me to let it happen. Especially when it's not something that is completely and utterly comprehensible. It's kind of, be it kind of can't be. You can develop a pretty good idea of what exactly it is, but you can never really know. You can only know once you're a part of it, and even then, and then even, and then you can't do anything about it. That's that's the big aspect of Soma that's super important, is that um, what inflicts, like, a huge heaviness on your decisions is that you have the power to make it now, you might not in the future. Exactly. That's kind of the difficulty with a lot of those choices there, is I could do something about it now. Um, it, it's like I said, a lot of the choices seem like you can cut off the possibility for bad, but you cut off the possibility for good. It's just that the good is way less likely than the bad. At least it seems that way. Well, that's the problem. It seems that it way. It seems bad. It seems the good. Though yeah. Simon seems to be one of the most self-aware creatures in the facility, and he's terrified and trying to make things better. It's like, maybe the, the vast majority of the other creatures in this facility are actually relatively happy. I don't mm. know. They don't look happy. They don't look happy, but, but at but the like, same time, some of them said that they were happy even when they looked very unhappy. Like the Amy in particular. 
that was the one where it's like she wanted to remain in that state even though it looked absolutely horrifying. What do you think of Simon as the main character? Um, I think he asks all of the questions that I want him to ask and around about the times that I want him to ask them. So, I, like I, I said, one of the things this game got heavy criticism for was Simon not only talking too much, but being just an annoying idiot. Okay, I don't think he's annoying, and I don't think he's stupid. He actually asks a lot of good questions. Something that people don't take in is that the game says that he is... So, first of all, he's a man with brain damage who got a scan that is considered one of their first initial legacy scans that are simplified, meaning that they, they're not as detailed. He doesn't... Uh, have as much creative thinking or learning uh, as as regular like scans and stuff. He's a volatile human being, and that um, but he's still absolutely Joe Everyman. Like he's the most normal person ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, Catherine uh, is is one of the most fascinating characters in this, as far as I'm concerned. I think she recognizes that pretty early on in the game that you are not exactly. Uh, ready to explore a lot of the realities of this situation and she strings you along for as long as she can because so when can she's complete when she's saying don't think about it she has thought about it a lot she's very very yeah, very 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 aware but like everything in this game is deliberate so when all the characters seem to like take things well um on Catherine's side it's the fact that she already understands all of this she's at peace with most of it she's she already at the end like, point Catherine gets to live in the Ark, and you'd be like, well, you're not you, though, and she's like, no, me. Yeah. And you're like, okay. You know, like, that's her POV. Um, while Simon, like, he's uh, he's got the perception filters happening because of the, the creature that he is, and he's got a simplistic brain scan, meaning all of his, like, POV is, is stretched and uh, smoothed out to try and just accept his circumstances. So, like, Every time he gets a new piece of information, he gets riled up, but then she just stops talking and he starts thinking and calms down and then just carries on. Um, and it's just throughout the game and it creates this sense that she's like the villain when honestly, she's just a little bit like, uh, and I'm not doing this to be mean, but uh, th there's obviously theories from fans. It's like, I think she's got autism to an extent. She doesn't really do well with people. They make many references to that in a human form. She's uh, very driven by goals. She doesn't, really react to situations a lot like normal people do um and she's not good with, great with people but if you the latter quotes about her from people in the end of the game are all that of like sorry to her she was right and that she is a good person and uh, i'm inclined to believe that completely it's just that everybody makes mistakes and that she decided early on that it's wise to not inform simon of a lot of what's happening because he might not complete the mission at which that point. um she might be right uh, maybe he would have, like, if, if he, if he was essentially presented with the notion of, you've got, like, a coin toss, plus another one, really, with the dive, you know, once, once we're past the, that they couldn't use the, uh, the Dunbat machine, once you pass that, it's like, right, so you got, you got, like, a 25% a chance of, you know, of actually, like, making it to, uh, the end, in terms of your, you know what I mean, like, the coin toss, right, of yeah. the prestige, um, you got a 25% chance of actually making it to the arc. And in the meantime, you have to go through this absolutely terrifying experience to get there. Like, you present that to him, that's a much harder sell. It's definitely like oh. the carrot of hope. Is uh... I'm curious what you'd have to say about this. So one of the big criticisms the game got, uh, this is all in my videos as well, is that uh, it lies. There was never a coin toss. It's set. The Simon in the chair stays in the chair and one gets copied over to the new place. It's the prestige. So, uh, it's the prestige. So people go as far as saying that the game doesn't even understand it's not a coin toss. It thinks it's a coin toss. No, it is a coin toss. It is a coin toss. It's the prestige. That's the fun reality of this. It's the fun thing. People don't... So people treat it as looking at it from... It's not even necessarily... This, this is where it can get complicated. The, the Simon's POV is exactly the same, whether he stays in the chair or goes to the Ark. He will, he will have the, he will have the same, same perception history. of events, exactly. He will so perceive that the Simon everything... in the Ark will feel lucky. He'll be like, I'm the one who's... who's a, 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 and obviously we won the coin toss, as she explained several times. Uh, the the us that continues Simon in Toronto has that extra, what was it, like a week, and then you die? Meanwhile, the, the Simon that, you know, was copied over, at least the one that we're playing as, who presumably is the first copy that was created, he... he it's, it's a reason why they present it in the way that they present it. 
um it feels very deliberate particularly that they present the first because each time that we've gone with it we followed you know a particular simon essentially the continuity of simon as far as we can perceive it but it feels important to show at the end the simon who didn't make it to sort of emphasize the nature of what's happening here yeah which is that essentially the way that it's the way that it's going to be perceived by whatever the duplicate simon is if you want to say the duplicate is that they had all of the experiences leading up to them getting in the chair and then they there's like a a, a, a fork in the road and they continue in one path meanwhile the other one continues in the different path the perception of which one is or isn't the the real one is a distinction without a difference yeah you might be able to make the argument in terms of the toronto simon to the pathos 2 simon but from then on you can't say like i don't know what standing you'd have to say no simon in the arc is not simon simon is left in pathos 2 and it's like no but he, that is no, simon that is simon he perce- he has all of the same memories he has all yeah everything the, it's makes just that, that person the, the, simon is simon the only like, difference is that instead of still being on you know on the bottom of the ocean he's like oh yeah i got into the arc sweet so well, yeah i don't what, uh, i don't know that uh, the idea why, that the game doesn't understand what it's about it's like no you just don't get it sorry <laughs> the thing about um <laughs> Oh no! You know, the, the the ease of people's interpretations for the Toronto one versus the Pathos Two one, of course, is the human flesh, the body, right? Which is is like, oh, that's an easy separation. But what about Simon One to Simon Two? Like, what what are you gonna you gonna say? Like his 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 robot body in Pathos Two when he first got there is now more sacred than the second robot body, and is that second or first robot body any more valuable as a <laughs> well, sort of vehicle for its mind than the Ark? That's when they started talking then, about course, the whole notion of uh, when he was talking about the afterlife, right? And the idea of like, hmm, what does it mean if there was like an afterlife and then there are duplicates of you that, well, you know, each time they fork off at some different point, but they're duplicates of you and they all coexist in one place. Does that devalue I think them? The, the game is trying to highlight with Simon One, Two, Three, Four, if you label them that way, is that the only distinction we can really come up with as the difference between them is their bodies, and what does that mean? And what does that and mean when the of, their perception what's the name is of the game? <laughs> yeah, so Soma, Soma means <laughs> the the body as distinct from the soul, the mind, or the psyche. Hmm. How much does it mean, and how much do we define ourselves by it? And it's complicated. And the game presents it as being complicated. It's a reason why Simon yeah, says that he's not sure. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. It's... I think the game presents its material to you, and then like what you pull from it and what you make of it is kind of down to how you feel about all of these subjects, which I think is really awesome um, that it presents them in such a robust and, and comprehensive way, while at the same time leaving a significant amount of it for you to think about and figure out like the game didn't give me any of the stuff we were talking about when it came to what we, what was going to happen with brandon or if we were going to delete the legacy scans the game didn't provide me any of that that was all stuff that i was able to pull from the material and just pull from my own yeah, thoughts game, about you know existence they really limit the hand holding in this game as well uh, so much of where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do is reliant on maps and signs in universe and you paying attention and like appropriate ones not you know just made up stuff well i mean it, um, it's this is the peak of what i would call an adult game this is i'd say that um it's like i said there's a lot that you can gather just from like looking around at things um just like paying some amount of attention to the I, i'm surprised by the amount of diversity that we got in terms of the locations considering that all of them are ultimately you know under uh, d- yeah. desolate underwater bases but we got like a real where we ended up was quite different from uh from where we began it just kept like evolving and changing because at the beginning of the game i had no idea that this is where we were going to end up but it all it all like flows and that information just keeps coming to you at a pretty steady pace and there's a whole bunch that can just be gleaned from like reading all of the uh all of the logs and and everything scattered about and just paying attention to the environment there's a lot that uh i feel like i it's it's obviously hard to tell because it was my first playthrough, but I don't know how much of it I picked up versus how much I didn't, and uh, how much more or less comprehensive my uh, my knowledge on the game could have ended up being. Yeah, obviously, if you ever decide to play it again, you'll be able to pick up a lot more. There's a couple of recordings you missed, a couple of like other rooms or whatever, but nothing that would you know change anything 
significantly for you in your experience of the game. You got pretty much the whole thing, the whole package. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm, I'm a little uh, bit sad thinking about the fact that this game was not received as that well or sold, didn't sell very well. Well, now you can understand how furious I got, basically. I, I thought this was incredible. It's one of the best games I've ever played in my life. And then I found out that not only did nobody really play it, but nobody really liked it who did play it. And it's considered like a fuck up. And Frictional Games got the message from everybody and they were like, okay, yeah, we fucked up. We'll make, we'll make something more generic and scary next time. And so then what, you got Amnesia <laughs> Rebirth, is that Rebirth, it? Rebirth, <laughs> which is one of the worst horror games I've ever played in my entire life. Um, yeah, and I, I... they did I, The Bunker, which is apparently much more true to form to The Dark Descent, which is a good game, but Soma is a hell of a lot, like, Soma's transcending its medium, essentially. I don't know what to do with the idea that the game isn't scary. I don't know what I'm meant to do with that. I find it it's pretty terrifying. Horrifying. I find yeah. it very terrifying what was presented here. Like, even just the concept of people being connected to the WoW and their experience and what it looks like from the outside, but how they feel about it on the inside. And then from the outside in, I really can't know how they feel, yet I've still got to try and make decisions about whether or not I think I should leave them in this state or not. Like, I don't know, man, if that's not scary, like, that's <laughs> okay. Good for you, I guess. A lot of people just wanted to get a series of rooms where they're chased by monsters but I mean, and have to run but around. But they had that! There were those moments too, not, and they freaked me enough. out. Not I, enough of them, not fast enough. I, I'm, I feel like I got as much as I needed of that. Because we need the downtime. We need the downtime well, to so explore. The, the, this is the thing. Soba presents quite a big problem because I consider it a masterpiece. And it's, like, not very well liked by much of anybody on Earth. At least statistically compared to the people who don't like it. <laughs> Damn. It's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, whatever. Ugh. It was funny too cuz I I went into it expecting the dark descent but sci-fi. Okay, and that's, you got something all, quite different like, well, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, they're good at doing spooks. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I did not expect this. And I was just like, Jesus Christ, what they're like one of the best best dev teams going. And then they're, they, just, they're just making art. And that's all they're doing is, and this, this to me is like a huge step forward for gaming as well because of how they dealt with choices. Uh, the fact well, that yeah, those choices cause... do nothing mechanically, like at all. It's a, it's an interesting thing that happens with conversations about choices because something that often gets pointed out with Mass Effect, a lot of people will point out that the vast majority of your choices are inconsequential as like a point of criticism, um, when really. Mm -hmm. It having a game effect on gameplay or not, it's kind of like complicated how much that actually matters. Um, I know we've talked about morality systems before and how generally I feel like the approach with the morality system is to make the good choice harder. That always seems like a, a, a like the, the, the evil choice or the renegade choice is the more expeditious path and that like the good choice is the one that entails more hardship um, as like a concept. But then when it comes to the idea of like how consequential oh and of course telltale games get criticized for the choices not mattering um but the thing is is i mean surely this game would be an example of how it's not really it, like it's I'm, I'm thinking about these choices even though you know it's all in a video game where e even if you wanted to get around the idea of like that they weren't very consequential in the video game even if they, if they were consequential in the video game the video game's not real it's not like it's not like real life, right? These are all choices that you're making in the context of a game. But I'm I'm having a real big think about these. I don't know that I'm ever gonna fully resolve what I think about the choice with with um Brandon, or uh, I guess yep. by extension, the legacy scans. I'm really not sure about that robot, uh, Robin, that w I, I decided to leave out there. I'm not sure about the wow. I'm not sure if I should have, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was, I, I don't, I really, 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 truly feel like there are no clear, easy answers for the choices in this game. For each choice, I feel like I can easily provide a pretty robust counter-argument to it. I just when keep I, doing I that. I believe that the way they structure it is that, like, you ending up, like, the, the shock of going from Toronto to Pathos 2 is like, this is horrible, this shouldn't have happened, why has this happened, and... By the way, um, I figure you would have had it in the back of your head, but you can discover you're a robot who's been uploaded, like, in the first room. There's, um, if you read through all of the information, it basically explains that, uh, 
it, like it has dates and the users and then the wow is the one that built you and it built you for the express purpose of turning the power back on at Upsilon. That's what it wanted you to do. Hmm. And you did. Um, obviously for other reasons though, you kind of did that intuitively. That's, that's what everyone does. You're just like, well, I'll power this place back up. I don't know. What's interesting is there's a, a TV show that was kind of made for Soma. They're, they're like super low budget, uh, sort of like a, I don't know if it was like a YouTube series or not, but it's called Transmission. Interesting. As far as I know, it's it was officially licensed. Okay. And um, it tells the story sort of of a lot of the survivors. Uh, the most interesting part to me, though, is the Imogen Reed, I think her name is. Uh, she's in the game as well. You can find... You're, you're using her body as Simon 1. And uh, she's the one, the last survivor in uh, Upsilon in the, in the show, and she manages to just shut down the power to stop the WoW. Like, that's her whole goal in that show, and she does it. And that's like the prequel series, and then you wake up in her body that the WoW has used to upload you to to turn it back on, which is some fucking poetic tragedy, I'd say. Uh, I would say so, absolutely. Um, man. I, I I really I really found it interesting, you know, how uh, you have this system essentially to gain access to all this information, but then when you get to uh when you get to um uh Omicron, it's just like a a, a sort of like a a black hole in terms of uh information because all of the also, all enough, of the, the people inside you missed um in Omicron would have given you the full context, but like you might have chicken and egged it. You'd be like, oh, I I can't read the black boxes because their heads are gone which means they wouldn't have the black boxes in the head when it's in reality it's the the wow used the black boxes to kill everybody in omicron he blew up all their heads oh and he did it because they were going to try and sabotage the wow with the uh the gel but obviously you can do it without much repercussion from the wow because you don't have a black box right i see there's a lot of like pieces of soma that are not <laughs> readily obvious that you get when you re-go and you're like oh shit that's why that happened that's why that happened oh this and learning the character names and understanding their journeys has become clearer and clearer <laughs> and yeah um everybody is hyper sus of catherine throughout the whole game and uh i just think it's a it's an interesting thing they did where it's it's only because of the fact that i think you that you're playing a game you know there's gonna be twists you know that like the way that she ends conversations all the time very awkward the thing the fact she doesn't react to things as usual as everyone else but uh she is just trying to get humanity off earth she believes that is the most righteous thing she which, can do um, she wants to do it be a, i mean you know bar, nothing <laughs> like if uh if the choice is in terms of like a prospect for humanity it's probably better in space than in the bottom of the ocean where there's only x amount of time for sure compared to it, it which is interesting because it, it feels like it's kind of you know ties into what a lot of the choices are which is do you want to take a chance on this yeah. do you want to take a chance or do you want to and i mean it feels like that's the case with the wow in terms of that choice do you want to take a chance that what the wow that the wow should continue to exist as this new form of life that is providing an experience that maybe you don't understand but maybe it's not so bad yeah and, and i don't believe there's any hard answers in this game is just supposed to make you think about everything i don't think there's like a straightforward answer to these things either obviously they have and that, that's what i see that's why i like simon and catherine so much they have they both well all the characters they all have very um specific points of view and understandings and it's supposed to you know be vehicles for arguments and stuff like the fact that the arc didn't get launched why because peterson thought that it's too risky and that it's better that we live down here for however many years than risk having none at all and then catherine uh, died yeah, like, for that trying to yeah, stop like, that what's up rags hello so why don't, why don't you tell everybody what you think of soma Ooh, Soma's good stuff, isn't it? Soma's real good. It's a really, really high tier content. Super duper coolio. Um, yeah, there's a there's so much to like about it. It's a shame not as many people know about it. Uh, I think it, I think it like uh barely essentially paid for itself. It took a long time for it to pay itself off in terms yeah. of sales and stuff. Oh. Um, uh. So it's a shame that, you know, they went from... Did you ever play Rebirth? 
I haven't played any of uh, Frictional's games. I haven't played the Amnesia games. This is the only one. Next year, you should do The Dark Descent. That could be cool. I think The Dark Descent yeah, is cool. Descent's... That was like one of oh, the yeah, early uh, Let's Play it's games. Ironically, my top yes. horror game of all time before Soma came out. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, it's really good. I would highly recommend uh, hmm. Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, I think you'll love it a great deal. Um, you can you can tell it's like a same a similar kind of game uh and at the same time a very different game but um, not the same for rebirth same right that's kind of like uh what happens rebirth rebirth is horrendous. <laughs> trash absolute trash how we went from this to rebirth is well i guess we know right because it's soma's so not a horror game yeah it's because <laughs> yeah it's because soma's not a horror game so, um, a bunch of Dumb you know, fucks didn't get it, you know? As much as there's memes for that, right? If if this game doesn't launch off of its own reputation and company, what can really help is a whole bunch of streamers playing it, loving it, and then having other people support it or play it themselves. Unfortunately, the biggest influence in the form of a video review on YouTube said it was kind of bad, don't buy it. And it's that Joseph, Joseph Anderson, and, and it right? Drove so, me absolutely insane so, how much he did not understand about this game at me all. Me having not watched that video for pretty obvious reasons, because I saw someone ask, "Are the floodgates open on Stoma spoilers?" I think the answer is probably yes, yes at this point. Now, now, if you like are watching an EFAP and you watch episodes, you're not safe because I played it yeah. now, and I'm gonna want to talk about it. So, yeah. Um, and I have not seen his video, which means I'm probably going to watch it at some oh, yeah. stage. And as someone just mentioned, the insane, the wild thing is if you watch Markiplier's playthrough, he understands this game completely. Well, you showed me the, uh, like, the, 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 his, uh, uh, interacting with Robin, uh, before he went into, was it Delta? Was that the station? Theta, I think. Theta was, yeah, I think it might've been Theta. Um, yeah, no, I mean, based on that small snippet, it's like, yeah, I mean, he clearly understood it. Like, he, he Im immediately figured out what the moral, like, quandary was, as presented to him. Um, and oh, yeah, well, um, oh, Joseph actually. Anderson, famed author and, uh, game breakdown <laughs> extraordinaire, uh, he reviewed it, and by the way, for, he did the, kind of the same thing as you, but obviously he took it forward into a review that, uh, he didn't even know that you, destroying the WoW was a choice, like, he describes the story as though Simon destroys the WoW as like a set thing. So the thing is, Which, is um, that I think if I just slowed down a little bit, I probably would have grasped the, like, I, I don't feel like the game screwed up there. I think I might have, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you can I, just leave. Yeah. Um, Which makes a lot of sense that I could have yeah. just left. Yeah. Yeah, obviously yeah. the game wants you in almost every single sense to just have a look around first before you do anything. Mm. <laughs> and then you'll be right. Uh, and well, and, if, yeah, and there was something to be said about if you feel compelled to destroy the WoW. There's yeah, no, I know, like, I know. Um, that's that's the thing. It's that I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, know that there's anything. Valid too, it's it's if why you rushed I, into it and just did it. I found it interesting because I I've, I've talked about it before, but sometimes I f I think it can be really interesting when like the player doesn't know that they're making a choice, but they are, and then they find out that they are afterward. Because I mean, yeah, I don't know. I I I, uh, I think. <laughs> Maybe that speaks to a sort of gut instinct there, which is like, hmm, I, I don't think I like the WoW. <laughs> There's just something telling me like, oh, I'm not so sure about you. Um, well, out of well, I always like just Kath's description of it earlier on in the game where she says it doesn't think, it doesn't want, it doesn't even, she doesn't even know if it has the capacity to, it's a cancer. It, mm. It's it's just doing it what, what it does. does. Yeah. yeah, like that it, it does what it, which, because uh, I mean, as I understand it, isn't the idea with a cancer cell that it essentially something's gone wrong and it doesn't want it to essentially go through the natural process of a cell and then that starts to spread and multiply to like the adjoining cells so maybe that's like actually a, a good well, yeah. one describing mm -hmm. the wow when you see i think it's the late part of theta you go through a series of areas with loads of just this fleshy piles with like you can sort of make out faces like eyes and limbs and then the creatures that are uh walking around, as Rag said to you before, but if you could find some of the concept images and, and some of these creatures, that you know, in isolation and get a good look at them, it's like the designs are fucking terrifying. And it's hard not for that to inform you entirely in terms of turning the WoW off. I see. Yeah, obviously so. the WoW has no real concept of aesthetics ex externally, mm. so what yeah. it makes is not really... How it how it looks as, long as they're alive. Well, regarded, yeah. So what I'm curious about what now... What does it even mean for them to be alive? Now that the game is completed... Uh, maybe both of you, like, you know, go along chronologically. What choices did you make? So, if we would say choice one would be Carl. Yeah, um, let's say the it problem, is. 
with Carl is that a lot of people don't recognize it very well, the choice, before it's too late. I see. Um, Christopher Odd is one of the, the people I was watching. He turned on Carl, turned off Carl's switch first, and Carl starts screaming, and he says, please turn it back on, please stop, please stop. And he did that, and then he eventually like thought for a while, and he was like, oh, sorry, I, I guess I don't have any choice, you know, and then just did it anyway. I see. Um, I, think, I can't remember if Mark figured out he didn't have to do it, and so didn't, but obviously... I don't think anybody has an issue with choosing to spare, spare Carl the screaming in order to make yeah, the game exactly. harder, which I find really interesting. Yeah, 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 that is that is interesting it's, you, to think about. You look back at it through the context of the game, and for all the people who don't think that those are really people or anything, but who wanted to spare this person or this thing the suffering, right? Like, that, that in and of itself should at least get some, you know, gears turning in your mind. Mm. In the um, end, you're willing to. In the end, you're willing to kill it out of mercy, but it's the exact reverse kind of mercy that you showed to it earlier. Um, and I think that that's choice. If you're in, if you've taken the game for what it is, if you're super immersed and you want to prevent suffering, that choice is pretty straightforward. I think everyone makes the same uh, choice, which is despair. Yes, which it's, would why, mean... it's probably why it's like the first choice. It's pretty, yeah, pretty you know, rudimentary. Starting off, no suffering is better than suffering, right? All things being equal, you know. And then uh, choice two would be Amy, right? In the, uh, do you unplug one or both? I think that's the next one. That one I wasn't sure. It, it, uh, I need to check because I've never known anybody, including myself, to try only unplugging one. I can't remember if it lets you leave if you've only unplugged so, one. So the thing is, is that I thought about just unplugging one. The impression that I got when I looked at the screen was that power had been returned to the tram and that I could have just left. But that safety hadn't. Yeah, what it was, which, which was what I was wondering um, about. Because, yeah, at that point, now it, it costs you something in order to... Uh, well, it, it'll if you leave her alive, it'll cost you safety, whatever it, that, that refers to exactly. If we're to take that for the actual choice that it was, as opposed to, like I said, mechanically, I'm not actually sure. I need to test that one. I don't um, think there's a difference um, whether or not you so, uh, unplug So a couple of people are saying it. that there's no change in the consequence. It, I guess it would just be that you leave her alive in a state that definitely looks worse than when you got there. You either, it always you it was an initial just you... absolute freak out for me seeing that she had like WoW created structure gel lungs that were yeah, pumping that into was really pipes into it. That was like, I was just freaky. like, oh good god, like... And then, uh, and when she said uh, it doesn't let anything die, I was like, uh. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of, we can kind of, you'll know all of my choices when I tell you, like, um, any one of them necessarily is, uh, or one of the later ones, and you'll know how the rest of them went. So, like, you know, for instance, I wiped all of Brandon Wan's stuff. I wiped the legacy things. I wiped, um, I, I turned off the girl outside of Theta. Um, I, t I killed the WoW. I wanted it all to stop. I thought it was horrifying. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rags, what about you? I honestly can't remember, like, a lot of my choices. Um, it might be because I played it a long time ago, and I've watched now two different people's... I guess three with Markiplier's. I've watched... I've played it, and then I've watched three people's <laughs> playthroughs of it, and I can't actually remember what a lot of my decisions were when I first played it. Um... Some of them I do remember. I, I, th ooh, I'm trying to remember if I killed well, you the can remake it now, or not. right? Yeah, I guess you can <laughs> essentially. Um, as far as Amy Azaro, I can't remember because it would come down to what she says. Um, I think if she wanted to stay alive, I would have left her alive. If she wanted to die, I would have killed her. I think um, she said that she wanted to. Dialogue. I think she wanted to stay alive. I think that's what she said. Like she, I think All she right. said, "Why did you?" She asked you to find people who can help yeah. her as well. All right, and Com uh, so then that's probably what I did. Compared to someone like um, Sarah, who explicitly asked uh, for the to pull the plug. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I killed uh, Lindwell. Sarah at the end. Um... I did you destroy the see. wow? I can't remember if I did. I I honestly can't remember if I did. Cuz I've you? seen I don't know. Um this this is honestly a tough one for me. 
I feel like there would be some value in you streaming Sobo Rags at this point. <laughs> if you can't so remember you your choices, it, so. yeah. Yeah, there might, it might be. Because um, I legitimately can't remember a lot of stuff I did. Um, Mel said he wants to replay it now as well. I'll have to see him. <laughs> oh my god, it's a Soma Renaissance. Soma, I hope, so. I hope <laughs> this is a Soma Renaissance. Um, if only we were world famous streamers, <laughs> then well, we yeah, could so breathe I mean, new life into it again, you know? I mean, it, it, in terms of like, a, I guess, a broad statement on this game, I find it pretty profound. Um, I find it like a, a very captivating experience. Um, I it's... think you can get a general list of like they list all the mockingbirds Carl, Harry J, Javid, Lisa, Robin, Vigdis, and others. Uh, and I think they I think they list them in order. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm just reading through the wiki a bit here. It's not a horror okay. game. Come on. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what I'm meant to Nobody say knows to what that. To do with that. It's an insane thing to say. Let me see. There was Javid Goya's Mockingbird at Delta. Simon finds a UH3, which harbors the brain scan of Javid Goya. It is completely delusional, not directly acknowledging Simon Jarrett's presence and believing that he is merely remote controlling the Universal Helper using the pilot system. That'll be the choice between him and the little oh, the puppy droid. I was about to ask, yeah, because I was just thinking about that one. What, what'd you do? Um, I funnily I enough, I the... actually can't remember that one. That would be one where I would just have to think about it now, which is the... And I appreciate a lot of the arguments for this because it's a tough one. Um, the logic for a lot of people is that is a simplistic AI inside the little puppy droid, so, you know, it's whatever. It's not as important as the human mind that is clearly in the other one. Like, in terms of just valuing sub uh, so valuing consciousness, whatever. But then on the flip side, you could be like, well, that's a reason to destroy the other one, right? That, that you don't want a human mind stuck inside one of those things in, a, like, a delusional <laughs> so state. So, um, I mean... But then also, there's an angle of, uh, as, as you pointed out the pragmatic use of the the robot the, the you know it's like it actually has helped you open doors meanwhile the other guys just floating around um, so, um, but then there's also the argument that i saw where someone said how do you actually know exactly that there isn't a person's mind inside the puppy droid yeah you don't because that's kind of the thing even though it was obviously presented as that dichotomy system. i kind of don't know and i don't think i could know that the drone that helped me was more simplistic i don't even know if that's the case but yeah, the, so the thing that tipped me over the edge was that that droid had helped me, so it seemed real bullshit to kill it, <laughs> like, when it, when it had been helping me throughout this adventure. I think I chose to kill the helper droid, um, and I think my reasoning was probably that I was more convinced that the other robot was uh, closer resembling a human consciousness, and it was speaking, and it didn't seem to be in any sort of pain or terror it seemed and even to be if it was deluded, delusional though, that's the thing that's yeah interesting. even if it was delusional it seemed to be okay um, that's what made it tricky is because at least on a yeah. surface level it did seem like the i guess you call it the doggo robot didn't seem like it was as cognizant as the uh as the the other guy but i'm not even sure that's the case because the helper robot was like actually interacting with the world in a meaningful way, whereas that one was just sort of going back and forth, up and down, left it. Like it wasn't really, it wasn't doing anything. It also, was. And, and another problem Soma presents is like, so you're judging it based on its current status. So you don't actually know if it'll increase in any way or decrease in any way. Which, um, like, uh, it's, in like terms of like consciousness. emergent properties, and you don't I mean, know what it feels. He exactly. sounds content, the one from the, the robot we end up going yeah. on. It's like, is, a, is an experience less meaningful if it isn't representative of understanding its surroundings? I have no idea. Yeah, exactly. It's just, and, I mean, I don't, it's yeah, so, so I don't a know. Fucking, it's a nightmare. The whole thing is. <laughs> and the idea that this is, we need more horror like this. And unfortunately, people don't interpret it as horror. I don't understand that, though. I don't get it. Because something scary didn't jump in front of your face and spook you for the 37th time. I mean, time. something did jump out and was scary, though. That's in there. <gasps> I don't get it. That's in there as well. well but it, you've also got all this it was stuff. It's so painful. It's like, Outlast, you know, it's just so <laughs> fucking popular. Outlast one of the most popular <laughs> horror games of all time. And, like, I, I go into it being like, okay, I'm ready for some scary, scary flames. And 
It's just people grabbing me and screaming constantly. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't like, really this corner is... and... Whereas this one is confronting is... confronting fundamental yeah. aspects about existence. Outlast is surprising. <laughs> it's not scary. It's startling. That's it's what you're looking for. It's startling. It startles me. It, it, it's surprising. <laughs> say, like, on the time. If I was to argue which one isn't scary, it's, it's like... I might just go with the one that's considered scary by the vast majority, like the 99% of people who played it. They're just like, man, do I start to feel like an alien? I, I, well, yeah, it's like, because what what do you take away from Outlast? Boy, that sure was spooky. Definitely watch um, out for the spooky the man it, who goes, oh, yeah. he tries to get yeah, you. Yeah, boy, that you sure know? was gross what that guy did when I when I saw it. And, and then he jumped out at me and, and he grabbed me and I was like, oh, goodness. <laughs> My instincts work. That's good. Worse, uh, you know. Good to get a check on those every once in a while. Soma um, asks but you, you walk like, away and you're done. You exactly. don't take anything with you. Meanwhile, it's it like is Soma a is asking compartmentalized you, experience. What is Soma life? Is so what is it? Like what? Detailed, complicated, and terrifying that it would work as like training for people who have to understand concepts that we're actually going to have to deal with eventually. I mean, inevitably, yeah. <laughs> like it's all leading to the, you know, the road leading to these sorts of concepts relating to artificial intelligence. You don't want to think about it? Start thinking about it. I think it's worthwhile to think about because even, even beyond the context of artificial intelligence, I think there's plenty to consider here in terms of your perceived experience of life now, even, even divorced from any technological considerations. I think oh, there's yeah. plenty to be thought about in terms of what exactly is it that you derive value from. Is it your um, conscious experience? Is it based on whether that conscious experience is real or real to you? Is it based on the stimuli that you receive? Or again, perceived stimuli? What does that mean when it's only going to be filtered through your sensory experience of it? Um, I mean, I can't see infrared, you know? Like, I can't see, I can't see, like, gamma rays. There's a lot that I can't perceive about existence right now as a human being. There's only so much that I can see there's only so many ways that I can think. There's only so much that I can do. The uh, debate that me and Rags had with good old V and Sargon like five years ago, something ridiculously remember, long ago. Yeah. Uh, Sargon held to continuity being the defining factor for basically what is a person. Okay. And um, that if you were copied or transferred in even the most like just dis distinctly accurate 100% way you would no longer be human because you've lost continuity how do you know that you haven't lost continuity like already well, not to reopen that debate <laughs> I'm just saying that that perspective well, every time you uh, fucking sleep I was about I to know. say when you go to we, sleep we pull that up I don't know if you can find that debate still you might be able to if you, like so, we were playing Left 4 Dead um, okay but uh, yeah the, you know obviously Soma is the backbone of a lot of my POV of, of all of these subjects at this point it, like it basically replaced Blade Runner. Okay, like, so um, this is interesting because to me, I feel like it expands on things that I've already thought about, but I guess not filtered and framed in exactly the same way. I feel like this well, is a nice. Isn't that what I just said? Y you said it was like your backbone, which almost made it. Yeah, replaced. But it Blade replaced Runner. Blade Runner, which is kind of a. It's kind of interesting because I, I don't even know. I'm not sure what I would say in terms of like the idea that Soma replaces anything. It feels to me like it is. Um, I describe it as another. Another one that sits there, right, on the shelf. If I got a bookshelf that's about fucking consciousness, <laughs> like an artificial intelligence. I don't, when, you know? when considering these topics, I don't tend to open up a library in my head. Instead, it's it, it'll be like one piece of media at a time. Um, I, see. I can obviously relate to lots of them, but, you know, if you ask me to talk about soul mechanics in storytelling, Buffy comes to mind immediately. It's sure. like, okay, what about... Um, you know, vampires is like, again, that's probably going to be Buffy, but there's a couple of ones that might come to mind. It's like werewolves, uh, mm -hmm. underworld kind of comes to mind first, but there's a couple of them as well. But it's just like, yeah, the question of what does it mean to be human? It's like, oh, it's Soma instantly. Nothing else will be it for, uh, those questions that I ask myself constantly. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Interesting. I think we'll have to see where, what, uh, I, I mean, I'm going to be thinking about this game for a while, probably. I'm probably going to yep. be thinking about it all day. I'm going to be thinking about it tomorrow. I'm probably going to be thinking about it for ages. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't know. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be constantly thinking about it. For at least consider, the next little while. Consider a change they could have made, which, I don't know if it's, I, I like what they did. 
I'm not saying this would be better or worse, but just consider if they had done it this way. At the very end, Simon and Catherine successfully launch the arc and then the scan happens. You get the flash of white and then you immediately pick up as new Simon on the arc, right? And that's where the game, the, the natural process of the game takes you. You go through, go to the arc, you take the little survey, you meet Catherine, you see it go off into space, then the credits roll. And then after the credits, it cuts to Simon back in Pathos 2. If they had Writing flipped Writing the uh, ending scenes. Mm hmm I, Where you think, um, I, oh, I think sweet, there's value we, doing both. Yeah, there's, I don't know which one is better or worse. I think both of them, it kind of like one is, do you leave the, the happy one? Do you start off with the happy one and you think, oh yeah, we, we got transferred just like she said. Incredible, this is amazing. Um, and then it's like, oh no, you know how this works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume is, that the dev team talked about this for a while. I get the impression I that they did. Probably Something did, I yes. wonder I is if they decision. I think what would have informed it is that with the player's POV, you've quote unquote won the coin toss every time, and the end of the game is where they have you experience the loss first. Yeah. It and and then like I a uh, very hard contrast. I think what's interesting as well again is is how that because for me that was definitely informing the decisions I was making uh, for that survey again, having the stark reality of uh. Because I think the, yes, the main one I pointed out is that I uh, I do kind of mourn the prior ones, whereas I think before I said that it, I, I don't know what I said, I almost treated it as like a separate thing. It's like, well, that's a, you know, that doesn't really have anything to do with me, whereas now it's like, damn, man, the Simons well, that so get you here, you know? That's why I find a lot of people's takes like idiotic on this game, when people are like, Simon was a fool and didn't understand, blah, blah, blah. It's like Simon is overjoyed because he believes like he made it through, he, he won out, he lucked out. Which, when you really consider everything, he's technically correct, at least in the form of a POV. But the, the player is more so like my current PFP, if you know what I mean. Like, while Simon is like, Catherine, like, we did it. This is the art. Woohoo. You're just sitting there like, Jesus Christ. Like, this, yeah. is, this is horrifying. And that's why um, I always find that I think people struggle sometimes if they don't align with the player character. That, like, the game's fucking up, as opposed to... Simon is one of many characters in this game that has a point of view that you don't necessarily agree with. That the player, of course, they're aware of that. Soma's value is obviously in its themes. It's mm. like basically. I mean, the, it's a difficulty the... when it comes to games where you have the main character be an agent who speaks and thinks things and will express those perspectives. Is that there's always a possibility of a, a misalignment occurring that doesn't really occur with Mario? Like with Mario, you know, Mario could talk, but. You know, th there's never really a misalignment between what you want to do and, and what Mario wants to do compared to, like, a, a person who's got a perspective on things that may well differ from yours. Yeah, um, and, you know, a lot of people get annoyed with the fact that, like, wow, I already knew the twist. The game did not get me. I knew that I was going to stay on Pathos 2. And it's just like, I don't I don't think that's a twist. I, I, it's not a twist. Catherine, Catherine says, like, explicitly many times, and she's fucking annoyed at you at the end for not getting it, but as you can tell, she goes ham on you at the end because there's nothing to lose. She gives you the real shit at the end, so to speak. Mm. She's like, you're a fucking idiot, you don't pay attention, you're not listening, and, and 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 the fact that she's so exhausted, if you remember, there's a really important part that I think informs everything about her attitude, is she says, uh, her experience isn't like going to sleep, it's like being constantly awake and there's no limits, there's no pausing there's nothing it's just constant and it's exhausting yeah like humans are not meant for that experience and that's what she's been having throughout the whole game except the fact that randomly she'll just teleport to a new place and be told that like x amount of time has passed yeah like she doesn't experience in the same because obviously so as a person tired. who's asleep when you go to sleep you don't really experience that but you do in a, in a way right you, you there is something going on there yeah. in terms of an experience where she's got nothing it's just like oh now, I'm here. now, I'm, sleep, here. now I'm here now i'm here now i'm here and then you wake up, yeah. and you you wake up where you remember being before you went to sleep. There's lots of aspects to that that are comforting. Yeah, but for her, it just you just flicker to the next place. And there's a couple times in the game where power goes out, and she doesn't even get to like know that she's about to switch. Yeah, exactly. It's it's yeah, I mean, it's interesting to think about, isn't it? There's even a few times where she stresses, "Don't forget to take me with you." Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think you at one point uh, 
bring you like laugh at the notion you're like you're my door opener of course i would this is like yeah <laughs> from her pov she's that's just a, her, a tool on a table her, exactly so that's her yeah. exactly she'll just like, like yeah i consider her dead remarkable take her with you yeah essentially in terms of her calm like approach to everything and the i think she operated in the best way possible to ensure those people got out there that was yeah. her only goal yeah but poor old and, Simon. Um, yeah, know? I appreciate <laughs> her POV as well. She came to terms a long time ago with the fact that uh, she is not, uh, you know, she's not going to be on the arc, but that's okay because she is going to be on the arc. Yeah, exactly. Like she Me says, they're out there, you know, they're in the, they're at the stars. And then I think Simon's POV is those fuckers living at large on the arc. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm here at the bottom of the ocean. On this dead planet. Yeah, which planet. is amazing, because then you go and play as Simon, and he's just happy to be there. He's not thinking at all about the grim reality of the other Simons. Yep. Simons, plural. Yeah. Man, uh, one of the things that hits me so heavy about that game is when you find the recordings of Simon Jarrett after the yeah. sort of medications. It's so rough, because it's just like, this was supposed to work, and it's like, it's okay. You're just listening to the original you die. Mm-hmm. So far removed from everything that was happening here. Oh, that was something that was interesting. It was something that was sticking with me for a while was the, uh, the pamphlet at the beginning of the game that said that, uh, like, essentially the duplicate would be getting bombarded with, uh, like, it would be run through a bunch of simulations, essentially, to try and figure yeah. out the optimal thing. That was making me wonder for the whole time of, like, oh, man... That seems like uh, we got a we got a sneak peek of what that looked like with Brandon. Um, well, so a lot of people, I think even Joseph Anderson said that he thought the Pathos Two was that. Um, that the entire game was the the experience being bombarded with you know stimuli to figure out how to solve the problem of the brain in the physical world. I thought that could and that be Pathos a possibility. Being overcome with like cancer and tumors is representative of the brain being overcome with it as well. And I was like, well, that's that's an idea but um no what i was running with is like that could have been a possibility maybe what we're seeing here is one of the many scenarios it was being run through maybe but i mean it, it operates totally fine as taken as matter of fact which is that this well, is yeah, entirely beyond what you were uh what what any of this was meant to be for the, there's a lot of sci-fi tech in, in, in this particular sci-fi IP, right? And, like, one of them that's a given is that uh, Munchie and his companion or whatever, they, they've created something that can recreate human, um, you know, consciousness in the form of a digital copy. That's something you have to take for granted in order for this story to run. Sure. And the, the scary part is they copy it and digitalify it in order to put it through everything. Like you said, it can give you a thousand painkillers and make you run a marathon at the same time just to see, you know, run everything, which is the thing that gives you the healthiest outcome. And then they convert that result back into a physical world aspect, which they said there was a particular diet, particular medication, and that uh, Simon should improve, but he didn't. That's mm -hmm. just the grim reality of it. Just didn't work. But the thing is, you know, when they were doing that, was were those things that they were putting through those tests were they experiencing pain did they like had they accidentally you know really fucked up here i mean maybe i feel like that brandon then, one makes it pretty stark kind of like oh geez yeah. yeah like is he real and it's so nuts man because you're thinking about destroying brandon deleting him so that no evil can come to him and it's like yeah what evil the evil that you just did to <laughs> exactly. him the brain scan that was uploaded in the form of this flashy body, and it's just like, I don't know. Like, you don't want to be deleted, do you? At any point in the game, you don't want to be deleted, so why should you be able to delete any of these people? And it's like, well, what if they ask for it? Yeah, what if they're wrong? What if you're wrong? It's but I mean, like, what what I does it even know. mean in terms of anybody? There's nobody who can really make that choice because you're deleting a potentiality. You're not deleting... Like, the data Let's isn't the, the copy, is... so there's nobody that you can ask, because even the, the copies themselves can't speak for any future copies, right? Yeah, no. The second that you are separate or copied, it's like you no longer have the responsibility. Like, Which means that, that nobody the, has the responsibility. Well, it just means that nobody does, do they? Really? But it, no. does that make sense that the data must exist for perpetuity to potentially be used for whatever purpose, potentially horrifying by something like the WoW or you, <laughs> you know? Yeah, when the WoW is simply trying to make life. 
in whatever way it thinks it should. Well, that's the thing. We see all of its creatures. They're all of different levels of consciousness, ability, and uh, mm. sort of aggression levels. Yep. Because a lot of the people that we power down, there's no reason to think that a WoW cable won't eventually attach and power them up. Yeah. That's, yeah. You might Lin notice Walsh. that in the, um, you might notice in Sarah's room, uh, if you if you looked at the the presence of the WoW and the gel, there were tendrils that were making their way towards her yeah. on yes. the floor. Um, it's just so the WoW given, is given enough time, pressing they're, in. They're getting there. Yeah, it's pressing it's in on her. Because it's just when yeah. you look back on that room, it's just like, yeah, this is the last of humanity stuck here at the bottom of an ocean of the ocean, with all of the pressure of the environment closing in, with the WoW closing in, just sitting there on life support. It's like, yeah, I mean, this is pretty. This is pretty metaphorical, um, I'd say. Pretty, uh... Yeah, and she's you know. guarding what is essentially the egg for the future, yeah. you know, chapter of humanity. Exactly, which, you know, itself was pretty close to getting consumed by the WoW. But now it's up there in space. And maybe humanity's got a chance, maybe in a totally different form. Yeah, you know. It's, it's yeah. That. Slim chance aliens will find us and plug us into their tech and save us. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, again, it's not going to be humanity. It's going to be something different. I think you have to accept it. Something different, but the same at the same time makes you think. This whole game makes well, yeah, you think. Uh, Simon's appeal to her when she says she wants him to kill her. He's like, that's that's it. You're the last human. You go out like this. Shouldn't you, you know, just keep going just because of this. This is it's so nuts. Like, even she has trouble with it. It's like all of every decision that every human has ever made has led now to this one person in this room. Yep. And all of the history, all of, you know, whatever human potential remains is just sitting there in this machine. Yeah, there's got to be an irony there that she's kept alive by a life support machine. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. a, a machine we consider good. Meanwhile, the while we at that point consider cancerous and evil. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's a pretty neat game. Yeah, that's summer, everybody. Um... <laughs> Uh, and uh, as like I've mentioned it before, soma is the Greek word for body. And soma is the name of the uh, the drug, right? In Brave New World. Yeah, I mean, Frank, we were talking about it uh, before you jumped in, Rags. That like, I feel it's very purposeful to have chosen that as the name, being that the body is pretty much the big reason people would separate what is human and what is not, because the whole point in this game is that. The, it's pretty much impossible to distinguish the humans from their mental capacity versus their digital versions or mm -hmm. a lot of well, the other you, ones. So it's like, well, a, a human being that's in a, that's brain dead. I mean, it's not nearly as difficult to say that that's not a person anymore than it is to say an actual human consciousness that's in a robot is or isn't a human. That's a lot more, especially when it acts a like more, a human talks like a human, you know, seems to, yeah, that's way yeah, more difficult one, for us to distinguish, which is kind of part of the point. Well, and, you can and take away you know, every part of you a treat, human except their mind. And yeah, still if you treat it as hardware human. and software, which is a very, you know, uh, ill-advised, probably simplistic way to look at it, then even brain death could be considered, like, uh, hardware death, as opposed to what is going on with uh, Simon, which is, like, human software on a... Well, well at I first guess. you'd assume entirely uh, mechanical system, but then we find out halfway through the game that he's actually a combination of uh, human flesh and... The, uh, structure gel. I mean, you know, some of his suits. Influence. Some of his suits. There's a corpse inside of him. Mm. I mean, there's a. Well, so that and that's the thing. Uh, Fringy, the girl who was trying to destroy the Wow, she was getting into her power suit, and then the Wow exploded her head. Yeah. Like she was going to be heading down to Alpha to destroy it. Yeah. Is, uh, you know, it, this is what I mean. Like, it's, it's, someone could argue, it's like, oh, it's a bit convenient, isn't it? That it's all really ready to go. It's like, oh, there's a, there's a reason that it was like that. There's a reason you're being compelled to take the gel down there. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> that's, uh. Game's all right. Yeah, that's yeah, Soma. Okay. Um, that's, uh. I'm going to be thinking about it for a while. Um,. It's fun to look into the um, the station names and what they mean as well. Their equivalents. Yeah. I did it for my video, but I can't remember them all now. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I'll be 
I'll probably be doing that. I'll probably be watching some videos on, uh, I haven't seen yours stuff on Soma, so. <laughs> that's, uh, there's a lot to think about, a lot to look into, read about. I mean, a lot of it, and in retrospect, is kind of unfortunate, but I don't know, it's kind of necessary. A lot of it is vitriol toward people who didn't like it. <laughs> but they did, obviously, they did a lot more than not like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's the point the point being that um yeah it's uh it's something that i'm gonna keep thinking about and sort of developing my perspective on which is uh it's really good when i can get that kind of experience um the fact that i was stuck on some of those choices for a while you know um i like i've said it so many times but i guess it just bears repeating i found this a very captivating game um mm -hmm. it's gripping and uh thought-provoking it's really well made, <laughs> and I really, really, I don't know if enjoyed is the word that I would want to use to describe it. I, uh, was very engaged by it. Uh, uh well, what did you choose for, um, whether or not you killed, uh, old Simon, uh, when you were swapping suits? Uh, I decided so to, to I decided to, uh, delete that, uh, yeah, I decided to erase, uh, old Simon. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know. Do I, do rags? I did not kill him. Okay, interesting. To me, it just seemed like... Why is in here or we not? What's going on? So, <laughs> oh, well, um, there's, yeah, go there's for a it. couple reasons that I was uh, the, that I think about it, is if I am a copy of... If, if I copy my consciousness into another suit in order to go deeper, right, am I going to have to do that again? If I have to do this again, knowing that I killed the last one that I did this to, that would make me extremely hesitant to upload my consciousness once more into something else, knowing that the last time I did this, my new version is going to kill the current me doing this thinking. Secondly, um, you can... Um, I think there's this, this element of... I was just, this is quote unquote, lots of quotes here. I was just that person and I wouldn't have wanted to die. Uh, if I want to kill myself later, I can do that. But that is a line that you can't step back from. Whereas eventually, uh, I think there was a time when he would wake up or repower up, something like that. Um, which means yeah. that I think as far as I know that right now, like in the game, there will be another Simon that the an old simon that you played as previously will wake up from that um and he'll be at least in that station and he can do what he wants to do with his life and what what's happening right i i don't think i don't think it would be as right of me to rob my old version of that choice that they can make for themselves um and it would be duress either way so such as uh such as the nature of the decision um but i think those two reasons in particular we're like, yeah, I'm going to let him live. And what he does is what he does. At least I'll have a chance to do it for himself. What? Why Why did you decide what you decided, Frank? My thinking was, I don't even understand what it would mean to leave him in a position where, like, he has no equipment. He can't, he, like, he can't do anything. He's stuck in this room, presumably just to wait until the WoW comes in and in the meantime to consider exactly what has just happened, which is, as far as he's concerned, a massive betrayal, totally not what he wanted. Um, and then I was thinking about, like, the whole idea of, um, the sort of, like, a matter of perception in terms of, like, continuity of consciousness and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It seemed like... I, I, I definitely thought about all of those things of, like, him essentially getting the choice, but it just seems to me like insanely cruel, essentially leading to what would probably in all likelihood be the exact same outcome anyway, or maybe even not because he might have been absorbed by the wow. Like, I don't even know if I don't even know if he has the means to like end his own life as a uh, as a machine in that space. Like, I'm not sure what that looks like or what that means. So that was all kind of the stuff that was informing it. But again, it's like all of the again, there was still definitely that whole looming thing of yeah, but is this is this like simon 2's choice to make for simon 1 um it's again it's just a matter of all of these choices it's not it's not easy it's like two really difficult you know propositions and then trying to figure out which one you think is 
I don't know, the lesser of two evils, but what exactly does that mean in this situation, you know? Because it's kind of, like, depends on where your values... It depends on what you think are, like, the higher values, I guess. Oh, yeah, test the hell out of them. Yeah. I worry in that situation that, uh... I think I might... If, if he was awake and he knew about all of this, being... I'm saying this if it's not me, or is me, but, you know, if I said... Just leave me, um, since, I, like, say for example he was awake, which Catherine could theoretically have woken him up early, I don't know. But if he was, um, and he said, yeah, don't shut me down, just go. I know I can't go with you because it's the abyss. Um, and even if under these circumstances he knew that the doors were all going to be locked as well, so he just couldn't escape this room. Even if then that he agreed to it, I'd still want to compel him, I'd be like, we have our chance now to end you very peacefully as opposed to what may happen in the future, which is something much more horrifying, and that you'd have to wait indefinitely for it, which boredom is considered one of the forms of torture as well. Like, I don't know, you just you got to really consider here, this is your last opportunity, and that knowing it is me means that I would be thinking about it as well, as in, like, I can die quickly and easily here thanks to me turning me off, or I can take a risk where all likelihood points to immense suffering. I don't even see much of a likelihood at all for anything other than that. Mm. Um, even with the the WoW killed at the end of the game, I don't know that he... Well, what's going to happen to him? He's going to eventually run out of power regardless, as far as I'm but aware. They all have a battery After a long life. time, stuck at the bottom of the ocean. So... Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I just feel like if I turn him off now, he doesn't even have to suffer knowing of the betrayal. Well, it's kind of, again, so I was thinking of the Star Trek thing, right, of getting beamed up, where it's like the, if it kills the original and creates the copy, it's kind of like the same situation has happened here, essentially. He has no perception of what's happened. But, you know, yeah, <laughs> such is Soma, the, right? There's no easy such choices. A, exactly. It's so incredibly complex and uh, makes you think about all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, I will continue to be doing over the coming days, weeks, and months, or, you know, I, yeah, this is, uh, this is one that's gonna stick with the memory. Uh, it'll stick in the mind. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I hope you guys found it interesting to, uh, to watch. I mean, you were watching it more, what did you think of it all? Oh, it's as, uh, entertaining as I often find a good, engaged with Soma playthrough. It's, um... Watching people gradually realize everything and struggle with the choices, it's, uh, mm. it's what the best of Let's Plays are supposed to do. I don't need to see you going, blah, 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 every nope. five seconds yeah. watching, uh, yeah. you know, playing... Is he loud. gonna, is he gonna go, ah, when the thing jumps out at him? Oh, he did, <laughs> as if he had a... Well, yeah. Well, the funny thing is, you did freak out a couple times, because it turns out... It turns out game. the game is pretty scary oh at God. times with these monsters and things. Oh, and, and yeah, even even beyond all of that, right? We talked about it briefly, but the art direction is amazing. The sound design is fantastic. Is. I need to listen it to is. the music for this game. <laughs> Ironically, really what I would probably say are the two at most atmospheric games I've played are games that take place in the bottom of the ocean. Is, well, is the other one Subnautica? Yeah. Uh, or, or, or no, Bioshock. I've, I've heard a Bioshock. lot of Bioshock. Yeah. <laughs> I get, well, I've heard a lot of things about Subnautica and how it can be like very terrifying and super yeah. atmospheric. That's what yeah. I've heard. Oh yeah, but Bioshock. Um, yeah. <laughs> but Bioshock is uh, big, big high tier top. When everyone Bioshock needs to play Bioshock. Summer, I'm happy to see prequel uh, TV shows from HBO go. Mm. Let's do it. Maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bioshock is getting something. Oh, I yeah, that's Soma right. Yeah. Soma's just... Nobody cares about Soma, which is really unfortunate, but whatever, that's the world we're in. No, well, I care the about The little Soma. mini-series uh, live-action stuff they did on YouTube is definitely worth watching. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. really cool. Okay, is what interesting. Called. Well, you know, even if nobody else cares about Soma, I care about Soma, right? That was a, that was a really riveting experience. And thank you all for joining me on this adventure um it's been interesting and it's made me think and it's gonna keep making me think and i hope you all found it <laughs> worthwhile um so yeah that'll uh that'll round it up uh for this here playthrough uh i'll make sure to get the vods up on a uh, good old cosmoronic um that's yeah that's <laughs> i mean what more is there that's soma and uh yeah <laughs> yep that's soma 
Well, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks uh, for the subs and whatnot. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for us today. <laughs> Thanks again. I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.